Old World Florida. Old World Florida. Old World Florida. Dude, I'm telling you, dude. Dr. Narco Longo came on and dropped the hammer of the guy. America's mother, daughter of Atlantis. God sent the weatherland. The devil sent the Spanish. Florida is Eden, the phantom of Newton. Carly is deception. So Florida is the truth. Welcome to Florida, baby. So how's everyone doing out there? We're coming live from Palm Beach County, Florida, or at least I am. And it's March 21st, it's the spring equinox, guys. So big news, that's the actual new year, zodiacal new year, tropical zodiac. This is the new year. The equinox Happy is marked. Right? Yep, the beginning and the halfway point. Let us know how our audio sounds as you guys come in. We've got my buddy Jimmy Stingray over here. G'day, g'day. Right -hand man. And we've got Jeffrey Krim, my uh, buddy from the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. Bit of a Florida legend, Florida legend, uh, Florida royalty a little bit. And... Um, yeah, we got some piping hot news for y'all, some crazy stories, you know. Asian invasion, that's not over. That's still going on. We still got to man the guns, man the forts. Keep your eyes peeled when you're at the beach. Okay, what's that off in the distance? What is that, a pelican? Is that a, a stray yacht venturing too close to the, to the shore? It's probably a raft full of <laughs> cannibalistic... Uh, foaming at the mouth, migrants who are ready to seek refuge in our neighborhoods and spread their ungodly ways in our territory. Okay, one, one quick scan at what's happening in Haiti right now. You don't want any of that happening here. So Haitian invasion still underway. Keep your eyes peeled when you're at the beach, y'all. You think you're having a good, <laughs> think you're having a good Sunday, and then boom! All of a sudden, twelve to fifteen jet black military aged men uh, with blood dripping down their their you know lips, barbecue style. That's that French influence, that culinary delight that that French admixture of the blood that they have in Haiti, which may so be is, is anybody invading Australia, Jimmy? <laughs> it's why, why, is, why, why can't they just go to Australia? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a, big a little bit further. Catch yeah, the Gulf Stream, because... shoot right off. Um, China's got Australia. Basically, economically, in terms of agriculture being brought up and, and commerce and stuff like that, China is very strategic, very thinking long term trade um, acquisitions of land and stuff like that. So they're, uh, they've got big plans for Australia. 
and they they don't like. Uh, have you ever noticed what Chinese people think of uh, our African brothers? They don't like them. The Star Wars poster. That uh, do you see that? The it was it was like years ago now, but there was some Star Wars movie that had a Chinese release, and they photoshopped it. Anyone? Is it Connor? No. I'll have to bring Jeez. it up. It's quite funny. They, there's, no. there's a black guy in the poster, like one of the leads of the Star Wars movies is this, is a black guy, and they just photoshopped him right out of the poster for the Chinese. Wow. So, and Disney. Damn. Communism you know, for you. You don't want communism. Nobody well, wants Well, they, they make a decision. Whoever, happens. whatever color. That's right. On whatever movie title. We won't. That's right. You know, we don't want any, any, any on, color on of yellow. All our movies. Guys, I think as Americans, we have every right to be terrified of the impending Haitian invasion of Florida and the United States. If they can't get in through Florida, they're squeaking. They're coming in through the Mexican border if they can't get in through Florida. Yep. That's the more effective. Back. God knows who else, you know. We've got pure evidence of that that we're about to bring up. So, guys, this isn't this isn't a hate thing. This is a Haiti. Hey, okay. no, I'm all we don't have hate. We don't have hate in our immigration. Heart. You just got to do it the right way, you know. And you can't be a cannibalistic barbarian coming in here either, or an undeaded uh, Israeli terrorist coming from the Middle East, you know, in through Mexico. You can't do that either. You know, we're just not going to have I, it. I, I know I've people guys in Texas who are not going to let you walk through their backyard, buddy. You're just That's not right. going to do it. And just for the record, I am actually vetted, just for everyone's information, I went through a multi-year uh, immigration process to be a permanent resident of these United States. Yeah. Uh, it was a very interesting experience. You know, you got to get a lawyer and go through a lot of hoops, you know, a lot of documents. You got you to do all sorts and have interviews with people that are trying to see if you're lying about stuff. It was a very interesting time. But... Um, I did it the right way, and everyone can. There's always there's always avenues. You don't even have to get a lawyer. You don't need it. Um, but there's there's avenues for everyone. And now the mm. government is actually quite helpful. Uh, this is leading into several of the stories that we'll talk about this evening. But the government's quite helpful in terms of the government is looking upon them as useful as uh, for future plans. You know, uh, you can only speculate. On what the, those plans are but in the legal system uh one of the stories is that they have been allowed illegals are actually allowed to possess firearms it's gonna be out no yeah we're gonna story. get into it guys yeah so, so guys just recap no message of hate we don't have hate in our hearts we have haiti in our hearts okay <laughs> <laughs> in our hearts, okay. Stop, stop Asian, Asian hate. hate. Stop <laughs> Asian hate. JC. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stop Haitian hate. Yeah, you Someone gotta just, stop Haitian hate, man. Hey, Someone listen, just super chatted that. Thank you. I grew up. I grew up with two Haitian siblings. One, one's name was Roger Sannon, and one's name was Bridget Sannon. Bridget Yo. was the smartest girl that you've ever met, and Roger was probably one of the most athletic person you've ever met. But when you got them mad, boy, you better, <laughs> wait, don't you don't get in an argument with either one of them, you know? Oh, no. Wow, <laughs> dude, no, I love this, it. Is, yeah. this is what Florida's all all about, y'all. Right. Ben, thanks for the twenty two forty four. Yeah, we like those angel numbers, dude. I'm vibing mm -hmm. with those angel numbers, bro. My chakras are fucking glittering right now. With yeah, man. Those angel numbers, dude. Throw me, throw me in the oven at at a four hundred twenty-four degrees, bro. I'm zooming off to that sixty, dude. But uh, thanks for the twenty-two forty-four. Catching the good doctor lot. Appreciate you and the phenomenal work. Thanks to the big bear having you on last year. Keep crushing, young blood. Yo. Anytime, dude. Happy to. Appreciate it. I'll smoke that. Smoke that right up. I'll that was convert, a great interview. 
convert that to weed coin uh, <laughs> swiftly. Yeah, Thank you should you, start man. a crypto. Have you considered starting an old world Florida crypto just called weed coin or something? Trying to get my money situation. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's called my Patreon. Just dump your money in there. Never yeah. check on it. And it'll you'll plant a seed of wealth that'll transcend this this lifetime. So you'll get the yep. payout in the next lifetime. Yeah, yeah for the grandkids. That's what the ancients all believed. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, you can call it crypto uh, shell call. Shell call. The shekel. Yeah, we'll call them jekylls. Shekel. Yeah, jekylls. You can turn them in at Shekel Island. That's where we'll have the new Federal Reserve at Shekel Island. Okay. <laughs> Fourth Emperor, five bucks. Stop Asian hate. They're military age men who identify as women and children who need a safe space. Also, Jimmy Chicharron for president. 24. Oh, barbecue. Yeah, let's let's elect barbecue as the president. Dude, the joke about barbecue. Jimmy, can you pull up? Yo, know, you're on you're on the clock, Jimmy, bro. That's right. Yeah, you know, put also you on this. one one screen. I'm down on one this. screen right now. Oh shit. <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah, guys, I can deal. If you're wondering why there hasn't been a Dr. Longo video, Old World Florida video out recently, I broke my screen on my laptop um, like five days ago. Rip. About so. Turned that into the Apple Store. We'll get it back in a couple days here. And we'll be right back up. But that's why a little bit of, of delay. Uh, it's been like 20 days since my last video. But we're do, we're going live. I, still, I got my brother's computer. We're going live. So bros are four. We've got reels going viral on Instagram, bro. We're fucking rocketed mm -hmm. off, dude. So they can't stop us. All the goy slop in the world. All the goy slop in the world. All the Mossad digital tech fuckery can't slow us down an inch, guys. Okay. So we're going to stop the Haitian hate. We're going to stop the Haitian invasion simultaneously. Can you pull up a picture of the barbecue guy, please? Oh, yes. Thank you, Jimmy. Jimmy Terizio. Yeah. We were making jokes. I don't know if we were alive, but. This guy's got his name as uh, his name is Jimmy Cherry's ear, right? That's correct. Now, barbecue is where he gets his name, and barbacoa is an ancient Floridian word. Well, it just so happens, Cherry's ear is super close to chorizo. So, this Haitian gang warlord, cannibal warlord, who's known as barbecue has like half of the protein selection at, at Chipotle in his name. Uh, bar, his name is Barbecue Jimmy, oh, Jimmy Chorizo. <laughs> Jimmy Chorizo. I wonder what this guy's aim is. What does he aim to do? Like, what is his... Oh, eat. What is his he aims mode? to eat. He wants to barbecue and eat. These beep gotta eat, dude. It looks like he wants you know to be like, like an American rapper. Is what he looks like. I think he's been listening to too much American. Yeah, he's right? doing that rap face. He's yeah, doing he's the lip there. He's got his gun. He's biting his lip. So yeah. this is the Haitian. His other ear doesn't ear but... This is the gang, gang leader warlord that is pushing people out of Haiti into Florida. So everyone in Florida ought to know about this. Have their, like I said, guys. You know, enjoy your day at the beach, but keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> there he is. So. Oh, he's, he dons a nice uh, turquoise suit. Oh, no. Is that a so let's get Let's get into it, up. Jimmy. What's right, our so, first yeah. story on the agenda here? Well, uh, the most... The, the first story, the most pressing thing that's actually coming up uh, this weekend, this Sunday, oh, yeah, actually, guys. is big news. Let me hear it. Can we, can we pull that up? Yeah. Do you have right. the MP4 on hand? 
we can yeah. show. So guys, <clears throat> where is it? The 24th? Yeah. What day of the week is it? Sunday. Sunday, guys. Come out to Balk Tower in Central Florida, Lake Wales, right? Come out to Lake Wales. Come out, hang out at Balk Tower with us. It's open to the public. We're just going to waltz in, have a look around, a little bit of a tour, you know, nothing formal, just to hang out. There's a picnic area there, so feel free to bring fruit. Feel free to bring, you know, yummy yeah, if snacks. You haven't been to Bach Tower, yummy right? snacks. Keep the blood away. Definitely keep the alcohol away. You know, mm -hmm. this is like a very family friendly area. Come out to Bach Tower. It's super cool. That's what I was about to say. It's a very, very open, very family oriented place. Beautiful garden right in the middle of an orange. Uh, plantation you know orange grove on the top of a huge iron clay hill mm -hmm. you know just amazing you know if you've never been you got to go you got to see it at least once and now this sunday probably be the best time mm. i've never been i'm I've, i'm extremely excited we'll go oh yeah i'm gonna be there with linen on instead of bells on just linen it up Oh man, the, uh, when you hear that tower start playing that music, dude, it's, it's mm -hmm. here. It's, crazy. it's all about resonance there. So, right. do they play the music every Sunday, every weekend, every day? Every I really want to hear the music. There's a composer, there's a guy in there actually playing. Oh, wow. You know, actually pulling the strings and, and, and pressing the levers and doing the. He's composing. Yep. It's not a recording. Wow. I got to see that. All right. Crazy. Let's see. Can you pull that video? I'm having a little trouble. Yeah. I don't have permission on my brother's laptop through like Gmail oh, and really? stuff. Cool. Thank you. It, or just a picture of Bach Tower would do off the internet. Well, here, I guess I can show, I can show it. Yeah, I got this. No, yeah, see, I'm not allowed. You think barbacoa would stand out at Bok Tower? That people would recognize <laughs> it? Absolutely. Turismo. Turismo is another good one. Um, Jimmy, could you get it, a pick of? Yeah, I'll get I'll get Bog Tower up. It's on the Instagram, everybody. Everyone likes the Instagram, right? Everyone's on the IG. Just check it out on there. Crew, dude. Why are you, you called you, crew? You eating on stream, dude? No, I'm actually trying to make myself a coffee. You eating chips on stream? What are you? What are you, <laughs> you a <eat> more? <laughs> what are you a, a Aboriginal American? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> At least got he's not got eating the, potato um, chips. Yeah. You got your ceiling bird chirping. <laughs> yeah. At least there's no ceiling three, bird. Dude, three long ago, the, the interviews that you've done in the past, um, speaking to uh, our brothers in the Moorish uh, community, in the Moorish sphere, back in the day, you did a, a lot of different interviews about Moors, Moors in America. Yeah. And there was a few call ins. And there were, you know, the ceiling birds, man, there, there were yeah. quite a few. Dude, a flock of flocks of ceiling birds. <laughs> yeah. And they were clinking, like eating, <laughs> eating the whole time. The <laughs> clinking silverware. Yeah, I've done some whack. I've done some wild interviews. But yeah. I love I love them all. They're all great interviews. But it was I've just, never been so different... Yeah, I've never been so it's, frustrated. It's like, I guess you know, they just kind of treat it like they're inv inviting you into a home, like you're in the uh -huh. house, you yeah. hear everything. It's yep. just a different approach. A little just exactly. Set. But here's Bach Tower, guys. Bach Tower is in Lake Wales, Florida. If you like the channel, if you like supporting, just come out. It's free. You don't have to charge. It's just, well, it's free to hang out with us. I think it's like, you know, what, 20 bucks to get in here. Five bucks, something like that. It's not For that the whole much day. And you're keeping it um, clean. You know, that money is going towards conservation. 
does Lord Bok doesn't hold up in inside it anymore, right? Is it managed by some sort of, you know, mm -hmm. society or something? Yeah, there's. You're not allowed inside. It's managed pretty tightly. You know, only a handful of people have gone inside it, and wow. it's beautiful. It's pink granite from the top to the bottom. It's like solid. AF. It's straight out of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. The guy who made it was uh, Edward Bach. I think he was Dutch. And he was the editor or like, you know, head of Ladies Home Journal magazine. I think that was one of Randolph Hearst's publications mm. and William Randolph Hearst. So that was a big thing. And we've talked about that on the channel, some of the theories behind why that was such a big publication. Ladies Home Journal, it kind of reminded, reminded me of um, in the Cuban Revolution, uh, Che Guevara and Fidel, they had fake home advice for women, radio broadcasts, but they were actually coded messages for the guerrilla war, wow. you know, war years to pick up in different villages. And the, it would, when the con, you know, when the uh, patrols would come around, they'd see the wife just listening to radio about mm -hmm. like, you know, oh, it's good to keep the doormat, you know, one doormat in the back and one in the front. And, you know, yeah. this is a shampoo rack that's from this company, but really all the messages were, and it was like women's, you know, rights stuff, but it was actually all tactics and orders being given in code to guerrillas. So it kind of reminded me of that. Wow. And he was a very occult interested guy. And he had his legacy was kind of cryptic. All the things he left on the garden, he was kind of saying, he was wanting to make a paradise, so like a Garden of Eden type deal. That's what he was crafting in Central Florida, Lake Wales. And all over the tower, you have pictures, scenes from Genesis, the Garden of Eden. Then you have all these sacred birds, native birds of Florida. Then you have a sundial, functioning sundial. Uh, yeah. on, it, it's a sundial and an astrological calendar on the tower. There's a lot of interesting things here. That's why we're going. I've been there once before. And yeah, we're going to go hang out. It's just a stunning well, building. Like I, I haven't even seen, you know, where else is there something that's just like this? You know, you'd think Europe or something, yeah. but. No, it's just I've yeah. never actually seen pictures of anything that looks like this before. It's so beautiful. This is the absolute top, and it's tall yeah. too, right? It's like oh, what? super tall. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's like a hundred feet or something. Yeah, feet. it's looks not like, but little... it's on top of a it's on top of a huge hill. Can you show wow. the zoomed out picture again, mm -hmm. please? Or, or search Bach Tower, nineteen twenty five, please. You can see what it used to look Ooh, like. Wow. We've also talked about some of the folklore about small entities, <laughs> small creatures being trapped and hunted, brought back to the police station in this area. This was all documented in police reports. Crazy shit. Yeah, that story is insane. Very interesting. And it's all in actual police reports. Mm-hmm. Then you've got Spook Hill, not far from there. But Bach Tower is crazy. Whoa. There used to be a bell in it? I don't know. There's a carol. Oh, wow. So there's a series of bells right now. Yes, I don't know. A series all of that bells. Big. A One of these bells. massive Tartaria frequency bells. Well, it's, Nine it's tons. pretty much that. It's a carol, oh. which is a organ like an organ in a church, except instead of playing pipes with each key, you're playing a bell with each key. 
Mm. So like you sit there like you're at an organ and you have like a keyboard kind of, I think. Yep. But you're playing it like a, like a, um, like it was an organ, like an organ, but you're getting bell sounds out of it. So you can play like pop songs. People go there. They have professionals play this over the loudspeaker. Well, not a speaker. It's just a big ass loud bell. Right. But and that they word... do this at certain times of day and they play like pop songs and stuff sometimes. So it's called a Carillon. Carillon. Yeah. How do you pronounce it? Carillon? Carillon. And... So I always say like Christmas Carol. Oh, yeah. yeah it works Carillon. off a series of levers. Wow. Like a big piano. Like a, yeah. mid, like a medieval piano. But, but no black and white notes. It's just all wood. So your memory would have to be spot on you'd have to be well i think there. when you you see how the pegs on top are in sets of two and three. Oh, yep yeah, right those like are the, like yeah. the black keys and then all down all the lower row is all the white keys and then down yeah, there is pedals too so a shit ton of pedals you're playing like a whole keyboard with your feet too wow and we we can't go in to actually watch that but you you hear it and there's video of it you can see online so these yep. look like the bells. This is the the size. We don't have a man standing next to it, but I've never this. experienced anything like this. I mean, this place is when you if you're walking up from the parking lot into the garden and you hear these bells, man, it's I mean, it, it's it's if you've ever been to a baseball stadium or a football stadium and heard the announcement over the intercom mm. like that. That can't even compare to this. I mean, the sound really? is so pure and yeah, and it's just coming yeah. right at you. you know? Guys, if you want the closest thing, I know we're all into this whole, you know, healing tech, antiquitech, cathedrals, mm. Tartarian, this and that, whatever that means. If you want your closest dose of a church bell healing session, as close as you get to an old world actual bell healing session come out to our meetup the 24th on sunday sunday noon, noon we're meeting up we'll probably end up being there till like six you know if not later might end up meeting somewhere for dinner afterwards with a select few the vip after party who knows the okay. 2222 club we're also doing this short notice so i understand if you know people can't make it, but we're going to be doing these as often as we can now on the full moons. And yeah, come out at noon, check it out. Bach Tower, lots of cool. Lake history. Wales. Yeah, Lake Wales. You can look it up. Bach Tower Gardens, Lake Wales, Florida. Sure. Sure. So, all right. Um, then we're, yeah, we, these we've are posted not about that. We've posted about that on Instagram. And elsewhere. So, moving on, we're gonna get to some news now. Wow. All righty. So it's been huge. It's been a huge week of news. Let's uh, let's pull it up here. So obviously we yeah, mentioned. Yeah, of course. Spicy stuff. So what Why? What's with your nickname, Kroom? I'm I'm fascinated. That's his last name. Oh, right. I didn't know that. I was like trying to find the meaning in there, but it's it's a it's an interesting word. Crew. Here, while you're pulling that stuff up, while you're pulling that stuff up, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Fourth Emperor, thanks for the five bucks. Guy Fieri, it's Fieri, not Fieri, reviewing the best Slumlord homunculus barbecue joints in Haiti on an all new 2024 <laughs> season of diners drive-ins and dives you know he's actually a lake worth local oh Guys, where where the store is you know this where we live that's crazy he still lives mm -hmm. there wow excuse me hey, hey, hey. we're not open excuse me that's a side door guys oh, the sign's off looks, guys looks like uh guy fieri has just heard his name mentioned and he's he's running in gay gay ferrari <laughs> yeah his ears were burning i guess so he Fucking was just like retarded drunk losers 
Oh, uh, okay. dang. People, people who drink are the smelliest, dumbest, most absent-minded, oblivious, entitled, self, you know, victimhood seeking group of losers on planet Earth. Okay. Connor, quit holding back. Tell them how you really feel. Drinkers are such scum. Anyone who's drinking alcohol for fun is beyond retarded. Okay. I don't know what pressure you think you're under. It tastes like shit. You act like a monkey. You, you, you irreparably decimate your internal organs. Okay. I've seen it firsthand from start to finish. And little drunk losers like this just totally set me off. I mean, mm. it's the worst thing about the city I live in is this whole stupid, like, bar culture, you know? Yep. Jesus. I, I see the same 10 losers who, I don't know where they're getting money, but they're at the bar all day, right across the street. All you know, the Connor, I find it the funny. It is it's, it's kind of funny how our uh, culture goes up and down. You know, it used to be popular to walk around with a, a suit on and a nice you know, a nice top hat. Yeah. You know, and then and then it was not then it was the culture to mm -hmm. have, you know, a nice, you know, two piece, three piece suit, you know, would go into work. You know. Yeah. Everyone did. Then, you know, with a nice belt on. And you know, now now if you walk around with your pants hanging down to your knees, you know, with a fresh pair of Nikes on, you know, you the next you the next damn I don't know, fucking whoever. You know, you're the next best thing, but yeah, nobody dresses nice. Nobody buttons up. Nobody puts on a tie. That's right. You know, it's almost cool to be a degenerate loser. It is. When did, who who told you that? You know, when when in school did they say, hey, you know, the, the okay. way you need to be is just ignore all obvious signs that you're being a complete dumbass and just look like a fool in public. You know, that's, that's the what way. most people do. Yo, Hawkeye Pierce, thanks for the 1999. Yo, what's up to the good doctor and the bo boys? Sending appreciation from the Pacific Northwest. Oof, sorry, bud. For recommending <laughs> Man's Higher Consciousness by Hilton Hotema, mm. which I received from the Dancing Elephant. Shall nice. I? That's Here how we do it, guys. Across nation, across national sale of a great book. If you guys want good books, dancingelephant.shop is the place to go. I went to the Dancing Elephant last week and bought the uh, the Big Dig, Florida's Big Dig. Oh, uh, I have no. been digging into that book, man. I find Show us that Big Dig. dig. <laughs> Jeffrey, have you ever heard of the Florida is a Big Dig? dig. I'm telling yeah, you. It it's is. interesting, you know, a lot of a lot of these canals going through Florida, they don't know where they came from. And a lot no. of them don't make sense because they're above, you know, current water level. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the army just dredged them all out one day. The That's army right. just got up one day and oh, let's dredge an entire eastern coastline of a of a continent, you know, like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Let's just yeah. do a little dredging. So, guys, since we were talking about the Haitian invasion, this just got ugly because, believe it or not, and Jimmy, if we can pull this up, just any picture associated with the story, undocumented immigrants have rights to own guns, according to Judge, a ruling by Judge Sharon Johnson Coleman. So that's her full name. That's a mouthful. Judge Sharon, Sharon Johnson, Johnson, Johnson Coleman. A ruling yep. by Sharon Johnson Coleman. I can share my screen. Undocumented right now. immigrants have right to own guns. Wow. Not surprised. With You're a mouth it. with a mouthful name, you know. You can usually <laughs> take a guess, but 
Mm, I wonder if she'll be willing to go down there and greet them as they come in with their fully loaded <laughs> AK-47s and AR-15s. I wonder if she's got family there. What state does she represent? Uh, uh, Illinois. She don't so represent Chicago. the state. She don't represent hey. nothing but what she sees in the mirror. That's it. Hey, Chicago. How's the uh, gun say- fund going? Do you know, this isn't, I wouldn't have said this because we're Florida News Network, not Illinois, but um, mm. the state of Illinois is suing Glock right now. Did you hear this? Oh, they yeah, it's their fault. Glock oh, yeah, it's Glock's it's Glock's fault. Yeah, because guns kill people, everybody. <laughs> Can you believe that? I mean, it's it just gets funnier by the day. It's just so funny. So, yeah, they're going to sue Glock for making guns which they basically hand out to various suburban and urban communities right. and, uh, and just let, and then uh, release them if they arrest them, catch and release. Yeah. The irony yeah. that pretty much none of those Glocks had no Glock used in a Chicago homicide. I can guarantee you 99.9% of all the Glocks used in Chicago homicides were not purchased legally. By the person who used it. Yeah. Hello. Looks like if like, they were buying them, that'd be good. It's like suing McDonald's to to say you got fat. It's the yeah. exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Which people have done, yeah. I think. And, and the, about getting burnt on the getting burnt on the tongue by a hot coffee. Maybe. No, people have sued McDonald's but saying that fat? they made them fat. I swear. Uh, This is the same logic. Oh, the litigation culture. And think about this. Chicago is going to have no, no, you know, repercussions from this. They won't bear the brunt of this. Florida will bear the brunt of this Mm because we are actually going to have armed migrants coming over. I mean, Jesus. I don't think this is actually going to fly, you know. This is just no. a one-off, like ruling and in a case, but exactly to be um, transparent, it is, yeah, it's a one-off ruling. I mean, it's setting a precedent, all that kind of stuff. But it's it's saying that they're not going to go to jail if they're caught with a gun, or it depends what they do with it. But you know, this migrant had one, and they pulled him up, and she has let him win that hearing, basically. So. Second Amendment applies to uh, illegals, but uh, but the, you know the great thing in all these cases no, is that what? there are people that do. This country has a lot of people who do purchase their firearms, and they go to the range, and they have safety training. They know where the safety switch is, and they're responsible with their purchases. That's why they're never in the news. That's why they have to make fake versions of them and do fake things like the Michigan governor, uh, which was pretty much all feds, um, in order to demonize them. So those people will keep us safe uh, from these people, basically. That's not the case in other Well places. said. Like a we, uh, yeah, we had a gun show here this past weekend. I didn't end up going. Yeah, but I really wanted to. My brother went. Was it good? Yeah, he says it was good. Mm. What else we got? So that's terrible, you know. That shouldn't <laughs> happen. Maybe we should have you a know. happy one next. Just a, more trash coming out of uh, Illinois. But yeah. Florida, in in better news, okay, Florida lawmakers passed bill to revoke squatters' rights, thus yes. protecting property owners. Now, that's something I'm amped about because here in Lake Worth, we've got a bunch of drifters, losers, homeless, addicts. They don't deserve our sympathy. Trust me. I've been there, done that. Okay. Met people at the, the highest and the lowest walks of life. And trust me, they don't deserve your sympathy. Everyone out there sleeping in a bush, you know, forged their path to get there. Truly. And I can speak from direct expertise in that. 
field. Trust me. So and, and it about more. It's even about more than that. Like I can share my screen, um, because people may have seen the viral TikToker that's a migrant. Uh, I haven't looked into it too much yet. I don't know where he's actually from, but. He's talking about how there's squatters' rights in America, and he does this instructional TikTok video to say, um, "Hey guys, this is how you take over a house uh, in America. They 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 have a thing called squatters' rights where they just let you like steal a house and keep living there for a certain amount of time." Have you guys seen that? I haven't, but that's insane. I haven't seen. Yeah, that. so let's he's teach, let's, let's he's, teach people how to take over other people's property. Right? Yeah. That's the best thing to do. Exactly. So it's it's broadening it. This is where those two issues meet because uh, homeless people are actually just taking control of people's houses, um, like in New York uh, State a lot, but all over the country because of squatters' rights. And like, But this bill that Florida you know, passed is going to do away with that, Connor. You're not going to have to deal with yeah. this. Well, that's a state that's right. law, but typically local – ordinance can trump that you know like a city local legislation usually trumps um overrides yeah. state and state overrides federal so and no i'm not think squatting guyana slice certain cities are going to go soft <laughs> on it i'm <laughs> sure uh, i hope lake worth doesn't but I hope if we go real tough on this, we can sweep the scum out of the streets, okay? You know, we are dealing with some scoundrels who get away with anything, you know, American mm. citizens who are- <laughs> I said nothing a little mustard gas can't fix. Dude, for real. Someone said vigilante justice. Hey guys, yeah. yeah. They yeah. understand that language, trust me. It's that's the only language they understand. And they that's the only thing they respect. That's the that's what they know as a boundary. Nothing mm -hmm. else. School of hard um, we all know California. I could share pictures of the uh, encampments in California. Oop. Uh, where is it? This one. You know, it's we the the another beautiful thing about America is you got fifty different experiments of how to run you know, a, a land run a state. And mm -hmm. uh, so we can see so what the end result of certain policies or what certain policies uh, become down the line, what they result in, in different countries, uh, states. And uh, we can compare that. We can look at California, Portland, stuff like that, where homeless people have, you know, like in Seattle, a homeless person can break into your house. And then if you call the police, they, they just lightly... Please, can you please come out of the house? Like they can't touch them. I've heard crazy stories of, yeah, homeless people just jumping into their apartment and uh, staying there. The, the cops say, we have to wait until they leave. Okay. So just chill. And uh, Damn. we don't want that in Florida. So. so also in good news, Mimi Kirk was just elected mayor of Lake Worth. Oh, um, she is more conservative minded and is going to hopefully bring law and order to the streets. Shout out Mimi Kirk. Um, oh, here she is. Yep. Is this Mimi? Or is this a oh, wait. nutritionalist? Wait, <laughs> no. I'll look. I'll look. OK, up, um, sorry. I'm thinking of think of Lake Worth Mayor. Shit. I'm sorry. Um, a different Mimi, maybe. No, that's Betty. No, that's the last one. That's, that's the, the old one. one. I guess she hasn't been uh, sworn in yet, I guess. Her name's Mimi, though. For sure. Mimi. I'm sorry, yeah. I went, my, my mind went right to Mimi Kirk, who's the vegan uh, grandma who looks absolutely amazing for like seven years. She does? Months. Wow. Oh, uh, here we go. Whatever. This is the one, right? It's... Um, no, is this last year? Betty Hesh. No, that's the old one. Uh, well, Mimi needs to get a publicity, get a publicist, get some whips cracking over there, get some images out of her. I can't even find her. I don't know what her. 
if you search Mimi for mayor, Lake Worth, see, sorry, yeah. that's that should do it. Like M I M I. Yeah. Mini. Right there. Oh, Mimi. Second Mimi to May? right. Mimi May. Sorry, I said I don't know why I said Kirk. I'm okay. all hopped up on well, vegan vegan propaganda, but um, <laughs> Mimi May. Yes, she she is. got in. If I'm not mistaken. My brother wow. told me today that she got. Made it. She made it. So she made. Well, congratulations it. to Mimi. Congrats to her. She's uh, she pledged to clean up the streets. So hell yeah. Mayor Mimi right. May. <laughs> Moving on. On top of that, Governor Ron DeSantis signs bill banning homeless from camping in public spaces. Yeah. So we've got the squatters' rights ordeal, and you've got camping in public spaces. So a double blow to the homeless uh, nemesis of the American public. <laughs> yeah, and this is just common sense. These, these, like, they shouldn't even be needing to pass these bills because this shouldn't have happened in the first place. Uh, things shouldn't have gotten this lenient. Uh, to allow for that in different states and then in government policy. It's crazy. So it's just common sense. Yeah, we've got to tell a story here. There was a homeless guy who was defecating outside of our story. Oh. <laughs> okay, right in front of the this story. This is insane and very true, by the way. I stuck yeah, my it's head unquoted. out. I stuck my hood out. Stuck. Sorry, I stuck my face out the door. And I said, dude, get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? Get. And I was busy. I, had, I was like on the cell, on the, uh, you know, store phone. Mm. I was like, get the hell out of here. Right. I went back in the store. And he got up. He goes around the corner. Okay. He then sits on our window oh. with his rear end pressed up against our window, the glass. That's the worst and kind of streaker, man. Con continues to de to defecate, okay, on it's... the store. Now he's on the store. So I went out and I forcibly removed him from the window, okay. And a Lake Worth sheriff pulled up at that exact instant. And guess what? That was, I think, the supervisor. She calls in, and there's then there's like ten cops there. And guess what? They were angry at me. They were about to, you know, get me in trouble for something because I forcibly removed him from our business, which he was committing a crime on. If I went to a city park and pulled my pants down mm. and did that in front of people, if any of us, white, black, anything, full grown man with a nice mm -hmm. clothes and, mm -hmm. you know, if you just look like a normal person and you do that, you go to jail. Yeah, you there's kids front, everywhere. If you do that in front of kids, if you do that in yeah. front of a play a playground, you go to jail forever. Okay. Yeah, there were they, probably children in the store when it happened, and probably public outside. Indecency, it's a now, family area. Oh, terrorism. I mean, you name it, you're gonna hit get like ten charges right off of it. It's abhorrent. Now. Yeah, no, you claim you claim you're <laughs> mentally unstable, you get a little doesn't yeah. matter. However, you get a little slap on the back and you send them on down to the next alleyway. Let them shit on the next yeah. window. No, that's exactly what happened. However, if I'm dressed like a hobo, mm. oh, are you okay, sir? <laughs> so I'm the, the police. The police show up. Are you okay, fine gentleman? Did you have I'm an oopsie? Oh, we're so sorry, sir. Oh, mm -hmm. are you having a bad day? Walk him away. Walk him down the street. Oh, call him a nice ambulance. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's fine. He denied the ambulance. No, he wants a trip on the ambulance. Okay, more taxpayer money. Okay, mm -hmm. and 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 you know, they're still looking at me like I'm the problem. And it wasn't. They had this whole ordeal. They all got up in a circle, and they were looking at me. I was going off on them. I said, "Who's going to clean this up? I have mm -hmm. to clean this up." None of you give a shit. No pun intended. Okay, <laughs> none of you care. And this is why our city is disrespected.
This is why our city is looked on mm. like lowly, like worthless, yep. people call it. I think yeah. you need to he, he was a, in a high he was pressure a, water hose. And if, <laughs> next time you see him out there, you need to just open no. that thing you go wide open and let him. That'll probably right. be a felony to do that. You know? Give him a bath. Basically, so gave him a free bath, you know. He, yeah. he, you know, 10 cops made a circle around me in front of our store, and I was lecturing them, right. saying, you guys are complacent. You're not doing anything. This is exactly what you should be doing. There's 10 of you who are not solving crimes, not solving murders, not chasing mm -hmm. down criminals. There's a criminal. There's a crime. You're doing nothing. You know, that's where your, your, your uh, status quo, that's your what's arrestable or not arrestable. I can pull my pants down and shit on one of our, our you know, it, dare I say, one of, if not the nicest store on yeah. this whole street. It's like a heritage building. It's, it's like a historic building. It's a historic building. building. It's a historic and building. Where, and where, where he was shitting was a white, painted, white, wooden window. Like, the window goes so far down that if there were children in the store, they would have seen it. And it's it's like a wooden ledge. It's all historic. It's a beautiful building. And yeah. he chooses that. And it's yeah. then there's like a town square right here where this family's constantly walking. It's now, crazy. Although the cops didn't do anything, luckily I did get a nice <laughs> kick in there <laughs> to get him off the window. I had no so choice. At least, He's committing at least a crime. He, done. he was sexually yeah. assaulting all of us, you know, from afar. And basically... They didn't do anything. They were upset at me for forcibly removing him from the store. Then they all saddle up. They're like, all right, nothing to see here. They like ordered him an ambulance. He didn't want to go for real. He walks right on down. He walks right on down the street mm -hmm. and goes behind the alleyway and did exactly what Karim said. He literally finished the job. Still more in the tank. Still more in the tank, yeah. All that free food from yeah. the lake Worth, from the lake exactly. Worth soup kitchen. This Where guy is, is he just eating? Bowels mm. filled to the brim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just feed these fentanyl addicts till they're, till they're overflowing, and then he comes it's... on down to the down to hey, the. Connor. No, Connor. and then he lets he lets it rip on another business, and then they call the police, A and then they use. Then they finally do something. Mm -hmm. So it takes two dirt, two soiled businesses to <laughs> take to get the job done until they actually start. They call uh, that the, the methadone clinic. Yeah, that's where yeah. it came this, from. This happened years ago. No, not years ago. Sorry, this happened months ago. This happened months right. ago. Okay, just recently. Uh, I didn't not, think that kind of stuff happened in Florida. Like. You know, people say, oh, it's a red state, the cops. Yeah, they don't muck I'm, around in a red state. But it, you get the, a certain cop. Maybe they have a certain political agenda. Maybe they're being paid by an NGO. And maybe they are following orders, right? Not orders from uh, DeSantis or the, the, you know, law and order, but orders from some sort of special interest group, perhaps, in order to... I just can't believe it. I just like how... How did they? How did you get encircled by them? And he goes off and shits on a coffee shop. Yeah. I mean, it's like you can't write this. It's insane. Yeah. So that's not news, guys. But it made me think of this. I'm directly affected by this legislature. I'm happy. Yeah. And Jimmy, to your point about Lake Worth being, or Florida being, you know, a red state and a liberty state, mm -hmm. and then to protect your own stuff, defend yourself. Yeah, private property. You know, yeah, no, that that won't fly in most of Florida. I need to say that yeah. this yeah. is Lake Worth, Florida. It's the most liberal city in perhaps the most liberal, one of the most liberal, you know, counties. You've got Dade County, which is mm. liberal, Broward County, which is liberal. Palm Beach County is very red, very Trump, you know, but mm. Lake Worth Money. is the most liberal center. Yeah. yeah, the uh, accumulation 
of the rejects from Palm Beach County. So right. they're extra triggered here and extra fostering of like Portland type behavior, mm. unfortunately. So it's a very, it's like a mini Portland here. People always say that in Lake Worth. What, and, if um, they, what if they want to keep them there? What if this, this is an order that's like, hey, massage the hobos when they're in Lake Worth so that they stay off the island so they stay off like clematis so i don't know different There's areas where that. maybe they just like that's yeah. just keep them there because they can drink at the bars because there's loads of bars and carver places and stuff they can just hang out you know in the park there fourth emperor thanks for the five bucks the 33rd degree free asian <laughs> that owns the lake worth police department and NASA, and NASA, also known as the Wolf of Walgreens. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, oh em- all hail Fourth Emperor. For real. Um, uh, f- um, that reminded me of NASA. Yeah, NASA is hiring, ladies and gentlemen. NASA is looking to onboard some new astronauts to go to the moon. Everybody, they're like, hey. Who wants to go to the moon? All you need is a STEM degree. And we're really hoping we can get the first ever person of color and the first ever woman to to bounce on the moon, to play golf on the moon, and uh, and to, to have a probably a party up there on the moon. I'm very excited. Yeah. I can't wait. Let's send the Haitians and the homeless and let them <laughs> do the thing. Maybe that's what they're trying to do here, if, uh, if the moon was a place that you could go to. But uh, it's it's very funny. So they're they're like literally open for uh, applications right now. If you want to go, sure. Yeah. So what else we got? You know, we've got some Haiti updates. That's oh, kind of yeah. what we started off with. But DeSantis signs out. executive order thirty or three. Uh, that I meant March seventeenth. That just a couple of days ago, oh, okay. DeSantis signed an executive order. Which was, I believe, involving sending 250 National Guard uh, soldiers to the Keys down uh, the the southern tip, the um, the islands down there. The ejaculate uh, of Florida. Yeah. Well, we're going to need them because our state troopers are in Texas, right? Can we pull up a picture of uh, that? Yeah. Jimmy? Sure, sure. Four for four. Yeah, there's troops being sent. Florida troops right now are being sent all over the place to to stop. To try, they're the only ones that are trying to stop uh, the migration. Yeah. The finest soldiers in all of the land, by the way. The yes. most coveted fighting force in yep. all of. Don't worry, y'all. We're uh, going to make America Florida again. It's just a matter of time. Florida rifles. All work, guys. We're just waiting for Mimi, Mimi May to deputize us so we can go defend our shorelines with, uh, you know. Big old impunity big old, uh, guns. <laughs> Deputy Croom uh, sounds good. Don't it? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I think oh, that's gonna. What's that? That's not gonna pull up what I need. So yeah, there's, the bill involves a few different things that he's doing. Um, Marines. So DeSantis has activated the National Guard. Stop the invasion is his, uh, you know movement with this um so yeah 250 troops have been sent to the keys the archipelago ejaculate at the base of the state um and they will be patrolling and stuff like this because apparently if you intercept a boat um the you know the current legislation is that the coast guard will deliver them back to haiti we'll just take them drop them back off um and that's what happens a lot of the time because this has been going on for years and years now. And I was looking into this today and I had no idea how extensive, like I had no idea of the numbers, how many people have been intercepted and how many people have come in specifically all from Haiti. Like it's, it's so much bigger than I thought. What uh, kind of numbers are you talking about, Jim? Let's pull them up. Um, it's like 45,000, 45,000 Haitian migrants have entered Florida in this last fiscal year. I mean, that's, that's a lot of people, 45,000. Um, so February this year was 11,000, almost 11,500. And then just this month, 
it's already been 4,000 that have entered. But there's more intercepted. And if they can intercept the boats, they can get them, deliver them back to Haiti. But if they land, if they if they actually step foot upon Florida's sweet soil, then um, they can just be like, hey, I can stay now. Basically, they can legally stay through uh, asylum seeking and stuff like that. And then the whole Soros... Um, Hebrew immigration society uh, NGO like system is that they can be taken to um, held being held in different places and then they just say okay um, here's your court date you have to show up in three months at this place at this time here's a piece of paper see ya and they just let them out and then so I'm you. I'm following what you're saying and that's exactly what I was saying when I said I don't this barbecue character. <laughs> You know, barbacoa, you know, this is whole, th what they want to do is make, they want the government to believe that the, that Haiti is in unrest, that it's unstable and their people have to flee and seek asylum. Right. As soon as everybody has to seek asylum and everybody yeah. has to get out, there's nothing you can do. Exactly. You, know, you, have to, yeah. you have to house them, you have to give them whatever, you know, and that's a flaw. That is a major flaw in our system. It's a justification, yeah. exactly, it, because then the public can see that, oh, the, the public can say, no, they literally are fleeing from getting eaten in the streets, which, of course, yes, they are, and that's terrible. And like I, I can see that point, but this is classic uh, political strategy. They have to create a justification to uh, allow for the amount of people that are moving here and staying. Imagine and how went, bad things had to be for you to get on that boat, rather. Well, that, that's exactly the sentiment. Yeah, that's and and that's why they would show something like that. But yeah. the the boat that the they intercepted with the guns and the drugs and the night vision, um, that was quite a nice boat. <laughs> like some of these some of these clips, which makes it even more interesting because you're used to seeing those dinky rafts. But so I I saw like a yacht sort of. Thing. Yeah, but like you could have two different things here, Jimmy. You could have uh, mercenaries like armed rebels. Yeah. coming as well as refugees fleeing from those same exact armed rebels you exactly. know we don't know what's coming in you know that's the bad thing what well, we don't know i mean I, I hope i hope to god someone out there knows exactly what's coming oh they do the people running it some sweet night vision look at that uh, night vision right there yeah look at that. That there's footage of it which you can watch which is really cool it's like mm. let's pull of some of that up let's see uh, some yeah, I wonder if there's a little clip we can pull up. But yeah, they they found they were trying to come in at night, wearing night vision. You know where they're getting the night vision. We covered all this last last news, so I won't go over things. But um, yeah, the numbers are higher than I thought. Uh, it's twenty five. It's sorry, forty five thousand in the last fiscal year. Doctor, did you know that? Forty five thousand have entered the state. So yeah, uh, it's, it's big numbers, and they are coming through the um. Texas border as well, like was mentioned we're, earlier. We're, we're 11,000 found in February? Uh, 11,500 intercepted in February. Yeah. So I don't know what that means. They got to the land or they were intercepted before they could. But yeah. So there's that. Uh, tens of thousands have walked over the border, uh, the Texas border. So oftentimes they'll just fly to the border towns or they'll be flown to the border towns and then they'll just walk across. Um, so he sent the 250 and also has sent Marines. I think this is more of a federal government thing. Mar a squad of Marines have been sent to Haiti to do rescue missions. And I imagine that as like a video game right now. <laughs> You're a Marine and you just got sent to Haiti on the ground to rescue Americans. It's like a, like Call of Duty, basically, but with it's like World War Z, dude. Fucking zombies pull it, piling over the walls. Yeah, cannibal <laughs> zombies. What's the difference between yeah. what's the difference between a zombie and a disease-ridden, cannibalistic native of the island, which we call Haiti? Color. It's it's just a one screen. That is the definition of a zombie, actually, <laughs> for real. So I mean I wouldn't want to be one of these one of these Marines, huh? They're they can handle there. it. Get my boys in there. They'll they'll yeah. they'll deal deal Bunch with them swiftly. Chads. 200. For real, it's, hey, as I, long I, as they're I, Florida Marines, at least it's, at least 
there's at least one Floridian on that squadron, that battalion. Yeah. We're going to be good. Oh, look to at go, this. Guys. This is a great pick. They're, they're having a quick pray. Going to handle this. Praying to the Lord to protect them on their mission. Going into the underworld, into Hades. Into oh, this the is going to be a cakewalk. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be fine. It'll be probably fun and exhilarating. Um, so it's cool. Americans are getting rescued after the uh, embassy was overrun, of course. Two of the biggest prisons were overrun, so th they got in and opened the prisons. So all it was something like uh, 4,000 prisoners of the worst of the worst were released, which is exactly what so the... So this is like the fourth time America has had to step into Haiti to... Calm down some <laughs> yeah, cannibalistic that's right. dictator. You were looking that up um, last yeah, week. Yeah, it's every 30 years, buddy. It's crazy. Yeah, it was like 1915 as well. Semper Fi. Mm -hmm. So they're going in. Hoorah. It's going to be great. I just want body cams. Can can they wear body cams? Like, wouldn't mm. that be sick? Like, the cops have to wear body cams. Can, the, can we get, like, some GoPros and stuff? Like, Marines, you can see down the gun. <laughs> the gun sight. Um, okay, so the next story uh, on the ticket here is no, but the main thing. You know, you want to get into Haiti and you want to settle that down, and that's why America stays in there yeah. because you don't want Cuba to go in there, and you don't want you know anybody else, you know, right, to get in there and, and stir it up, make it worse, or, or contribute, or use it worse, use it as a platform to yep. get into america you know we that's, that's why right. we want to keep it calm well, you know we want to go in there right now and not wait yeah no exactly they, they, it could it could devolve into a massive <clears throat> political situation another cuban missile crisis kind of thing i think but, we've uh, got more of a more of a situation going on and i think the haitian situation's one of the uh least mm -hmm. one of the ones that has the least uh yeah you know, consequences. Let's so just... Next, next thing I was going to bring up, if we want to move on. Sure, yeah. Any last words about stop Haitian hate? No, that's it. Yeah, well, let's just get it real quick, guys. You know, it's all love, guys. We're yeah. all love. We love everyone. We, love, we literally love everyone. So when you love you someone, think, you protect them, right? Whoever you when think you have we're a making family, fun of, yeah. <laughs> We're holding everyone to a high standard. Yes, that's all. And we love everyone. There's no hate in our heart. There's only Haiti in our heart. Okay. <laughs> so, hey, so everything's mattery, man. Stop Haitian hate. Stop, stop Haitian ha hate. Ha stop Haitian um, hate. We should actually do a whole thing. Like we should we should do like a uh, old world Florida meetup, stop Haitian hate protest. Yeah, uh, where we we chant that, but we also spread the word about Haitians. <laughs> Guys, dress black. We're we're good, we're doing a blackout in honor of Haiti at the meetup. <laughs> we're, we're wearing jet black in hoodies and baklavas and yeah. wait, I just say baklava. <laughs> <laughs> we're eating. We're eating balaclava. Balaclava. balaclava and we're wearing sorry. baklava. Yeah, you got to wear and baklava we're eating on your face. Baklava for sure. Though. Do um, baklava face. Instead of brown or any other kind of face, or black, any any ski other mask. baklava, yeah, that's right. Worn yeah. with a ski mask on my face, as they say. It's gonna, it's gonna be a blackout. But all right, um, that wraps up the Haitian situation for now. Keep your eye out when you're at the beach, guys. Okay, don't let your kids swim out too far. They might hit a. Both. Haitian invasion uh, vessel, but okay. Moving on, we've got. So, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I was no, going to go bring up our, our our friend, brother Sheriff Keith, Sheriff Keith right. Pearson, over in uh, St. Lucie, I guess St. Lucie County. Can we see that? Yeah. Is it? Can I show Instagram? Is that? Does yeah. that get us flagged? Okay. Good. No, for sure, you're good. Uh, Keith good. Pearson, and I was misspelling his name because I only heard it. I didn't see it spelled. It's actually more like Pearson. 
you know, with the Florida fruit in mind, Keith, Sheriff, Sheriff Pearson, but he is known as Sheriff Pearson, um, but it's spelled like a pear, the son of the pear, you could say. He's got this thing going on over there in St. Lucie County. So that's just like a couple hours north of the yep. bookstore, right? Yep. Yep, like an hour. He's starting this thing called Find Out Friday, where he, he saves the day, basically. He protects his people. He does his job. And uh, sometimes his uh, sometimes the, the perpetrators are pretty rude, shouting at him. But he, he's doing these little social media clips where he explains what happened and uh, who has found out that Friday. People joyriding and uh, endangering the public and stealing cars and just just being um, unruly and uh, <laughs> lost, you could say, impulsive. The other, um, the other, the other cops hilarious. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just they're doing their job and it's becoming a rarity. So this used to be the norm, right? And he's trying to like bring back the norm because so many of these cops are like the ones that came to the bookstore that time. Didn't didn't save the day. These guys are saving the day and they're trying to make a you know, they're trying to make a thing of it. So I'll just play the vehicle audio. and get into a car crash, working closely with the Florida Highway Patrol, not only on the sea, yep. but on land. Here. Elijah's now in custody. Our message is this to criminals. Not in St. Lucie. <laughs> I'm St. Lucie County Sheriff I'm, Keith Searson. Uh, Earlier I'm today, Lucie, Elijah baby. thought he's going to drive through St. Lucie County in a stolen vehicle and, the, the and get into a car crash, working closely with the Florida Stupid Highway ass. Patrol, not only on the sea, but on land. Elijah's now They're in custody. Our message is this to criminals. Sorry, I'm St. Lucie. Right. I'm St. Lucie Yo, County. Yeah, so basically, guys, they're interviewing criminals after they catch them. That's yeah. the, the, the deal here. And there's some other ones. Isn't there one where he's like, yeah. yeah, this guy thought he was fast, but we had a faster yeah. car. I've been trying to He's find showing off one. the Hellcat. Hellcat wow. that they that they um Oh the car. Seized from someone else. That might be the Hellcat right there that you're just looking Wait, at. This? They're prep. No, one <laughs> no, one I one below. You're referring to that as a Hellcat. No, one below. See the car? This one. Yeah, what does it say? Not in St. Lucie. Yeah, seized vehicle. Yep, that's it. That's it. Oh, that's the one. Right. They have a seized Hellcat or s something like that. Just a pimped out Dodge Charger that they just oh, wreck nice. criminals with. <laughs> this thing has like a million horsepower. It has like one mile to the one one mile to the gallon. <laughs> oh, you know? and it, they're just wow. they're just. Uh, Paul Walker and perps left and right with this seized vehicle, which means that taxpayers didn't pay a cent for it. Brilliant. They seized it's, it off some off some scummy drug addict. Just doing and it right, doing it so well, doing their jobs so finely. Just, playing with their toys on the highway. Yeah, it's it's so great, um, and hopefully this is they, they're trendsetters. You know, they can this can catch on a little. He's on. He's on land, he's on sea, and sometimes he's probably in the air in choppers too. Sheriff Pearson, we love you. Or Pearson, we have full support. Yeah, go look at the, um, go to uh, Port St. Lucie, please, is where they're posting that stuff, not his personal okay. page. Okay, all right. Yeah, go to Port St. Lucie, peace, please. Peace. Port See, St. he's Lucy. actually bringing the peace in in Port St. Lucie, which can get a little riley, a little rough. What what what's the town like? Never been. I just want to share. Port St. Lucie, it's cool. It's chill. Yeah. It's definitely not yeah. like rowdy. It's very chill. It's like it's Palm Beach more... County. Sharing one more image of that seized Dodge. Oh yeah, they love to show that bad boy off. <laughs> yeah. Seized vehicle, it says. Oh. And they're putting it to use. Thing looks like the Master Chief from Halo. Yeah, it's that color. Thing's a unit. I want to see it in action. They got a, because they probably have a dash cam, but uh, I want to see some wide shot of it. Just taking someone down. Because it's getting pretty GTA out there. Cause some mischief. 
No, I just want to ride along. Man, they'll, they'll pull it's right all up on me on. for a, like a, a ride along as a someone from a different country, and I've got to experience hey, might. The American police. They do ride alongs all the time, you know. dude. I cannot find this clip. Maybe they've taken it down. It's in the back. Unless you're riding the back. Yeah, they might have. Lawyers might be. It's, it's got lawyers the, might be hating. Yeah, lawyers might be hating. It's got the the perpetrator slumped up against the car, sitting on the floor with yeah. his with his head down, big old dreads, and uh, and he's just standing in front, and he's like, "This cool cat thought he was fast." <laughs> it's uh, you know. Yeah, they we show one guy's that. car. They're like calling out his car too. They show this oh, yeah. one guy with his car. They're like, he thought he was fast in his car. <laughs> well, guess what? We was faster. And then, like, they show the Hellcat. It's like, dun, 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 dun. yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're like Top Gun. They're all like just Top Gun cops. Dude, they Fuck love cops. it. Yeah, I don't think it's up anymore, but maybe people saw. But yeah, follow him. You know, give him some. Give him some love. Because uh, obviously police in today's age must be actually feeling uh, like doing their job could get them in trouble because sometimes it uh, does and can. Oh, right? yeah. it's someone, said, someone said, hey, why did they cancel live PD? Because it was glorifying police officers and it was, exactly. vil and it was vilifying criminals. <laughs> Everyone was like, oh, yeah. Gang banging's cool, yeah. The the music's so hip, yeah. You know, yeah. pop pop a beep, you know, clap a beep. Just empty your mag, bro. Well, then you mm -hmm. watch live PD, and you're like, oh wait, the heroes are the cops. The cops are way more badass, <laughs> way more well equipped. Yeah. They win ninety nine percent of the time. They have the I and guys, this is coming from me. Okay, I'm I'm your everyday pot smoking hippie loser in a van okay i hate cops as much as anyone else but they're like your mom you know you hate them but you love them you know it's it's like <laughs> you you hate what they do but you love them they're necessary you know it's things yeah, like that without them your room gets messy right they're there to help you clean up they keep they're order to keep order yeah parents yeah. and so many order in the house. yeah so that's coming for me always you know be critical i'm not saying they're perfect far from it definitely not i just i just said you know just complain to my own qualms with them but hmm. they're all different obviously hey well P P port st lucie others other counties in florida they have the best law enforcement in the country lake worth unfortunately has some bad apples i hate to say but uh most Florida law enforcement is impeccable. I've been but treated this is the thing. badly, like, nicely, but yeah, people are just going to get sick of getting their coffee shop or their bookstore chat on. Like, they get, business owners are going to get sick of that, and then families that just want to go out and get a coffee on a Sunday in broad daylight, they're going to get sick. Like, people are just going to have to like they're going to get fed up, and they're going to be more appreciative of some of this uh this style of policy just to keep things safe and chill for everyone so you don't get accosted walking down the street you know it's it's not uh yeah it's not rocket science for real. all right so the next so, thing i was going to bring up if we want to be born yeah jc i think he's oh, having yeah, some issues i think oh, jeffrey's yeah. having he's some issues right now but he, he might be driving that's okay his He's our man guy. on the ground. All right. Yeah. He's on He's not, scene, he... guys. He was in Haiti. The service <laughs> is bad from Haiti. <laughs> That's where he is right now. <laughs> trying to get some footage, but they stole his phone. And they're trying to eat so it. So, guys, what's up next? We got the manhunt. Is that yep, what... manhunt. Uh, so, well, really, it's Jacksonville. Jacksonville Beach. Uh, thoughts and prayers going out to Jacksonville Beach. Anyone in the comments section uh, in Jacksonville Beach? Um, three shootings in one day in, what is it? Yeah, on St. Patrick's Day. Three separate different shootings. Um, 
there's a lot's coming out about all of them. One dead, three wounded. Uh, there was, it was mainly on the beach, just like we covered last time. Just a lot of, a lot of arguments. There was a lot of fights. There was like, you know, the cops, speaking of cops, must have been super busy and stretched thin. Jacksonville Beach on some paths. A lot of drinking. It was also a beautiful day in Florida, so a lot of sun. Uh, a lot of just bad decisions made, probably. And uh, so there were, there was lots popping off. So uh, probably had a little bit to do with spring break as well. Spring break would go to Jacksonville Beach. Or do they not really go that far north? Do you think? Yeah, you, you know, Panama City's big. Oh, yeah. There's places up north that, that do draw a big crowd for spring break yeah. and stuff. But um, I think a lot of it was yeah, around. Jacksonville, for, for sure. That's like, you know, you get your, you can see like where the different casts kind of float towards like mm. middle Amer middle america goes down to the panhandle yeah to like pensacola to panama city um the floor of Bama shore you know that's like where a lot of the white trash from the south goes and vacations then you've got like the south yep sorry sorry white trash from middle america goes to the panhandle then mm. people from the south, like Georgia, you know, um, Carolinas, Virginia, Tennessee, those people will come down and they'll just kind of make it into Florida, but not go too far south. And they will be at Jacksonville. And you've also got, you know, a big teenager population in Jacksonville. That's one of the most teenage yeah. cities in america believe it or not um cat williams has an entire cat yeah. williams has an entire uh, routine on jacksonville i love him right yep it's a, it's a it's a vibrant it's a diverse city what? we'll say it's a very d <laughs> diverse city and the the yeah. shooting and murder rates reflect that unfortunately and yep, remember, this is, is what thug, it is. this is a thug issue. Thugs That's of right. any and skin color are to be. It's announced. in the music. That's right. Any shape or form. Um, the music has a lot to do with it. You guys just mentioned that. You know, who's who's writing the songs? What happens if a rapper just wants to rap about Jesus and God? Eh, their career doesn't go too well. What if they want to rap about? you know, meaningful things like family or whatever, like in the 90s, Nas and different rappers used to have a different tone. Certain careers didn't go too well and certain other ones went really well, you know, and it's just raises the question of uh, the beliefs and um, feelings of some of the record label owners, you know. So we can move on from that. Uh, I was just going to pull up some pictures, but yeah, it's... Nothing much to see here. We covered the beat. I think we covered one of these shootings last time anyway. So it's just uh, lots popping off. And uh, speaking of um, people being elected to uh, places of, of power and stuff like that, um, Letitia James, which is the uh, New York Attorney General, is taking steps to try and seize some of Donald Trump's assets. Uh, at the moment, it's the Westchester, New York uh, club, golf club, I think. And, uh, but next on her, on her, yeah, next on her um, shopping block is Mar-a-Lago, she says. She's coming for Mar-a-Lago. Nope. Hell no. <laughs> Over our dead bodies. Jimmy, the we, King's we might Castle. Be... We might be manning machine guns up in the up in the, the yep. tower in the coming months sick. defending defending the king's castle <laughs> from the goblin hordes <laughs> yeah from what so, County? West, where is it well the westchester let's share a screen a lot of tabs 
she's she's drawing up initial plans to basically seize the Westchester Golf Club because uh, with the lawfare that Trump's been involved with lately, been a victim of, um, you know, he's he just won the Florida primary, which, you know, it's barely it's barely news, even though it's big news, but it's barely news because obviously he's winning everything. His his approval rating is skyrocketing. So they're doing this lawfare um, in order to bankrupt him. He has to pay half of a billion dollars. Did you know? Damn. I mean, maybe maybe I just found that out. I I didn't know it was that much. They're trying to get him to pay half a billion for what? Because he uh, someone said that he slept with her or something. So not politically motivated at all. But she's coming for the jugular basically because i mean all of his wealth is tied up in these businesses and um the deadline is monday i believe so he's he's holding some like fundraisers and stuff like that but she's you know she's on a real um she's having fun with it it seems she's making some sassy comments and she's saying she's coming from mar-a-lago and the judgments were already filed with the Westchester County Clerk's Office on March 6th, uh, public records show, to come for um, a property, which is beautiful up there. I'd never seen it before. It looks like, um, you know, the English countryside or something. Damn. I mean, yeah, it's terrible. Of- God bless Trump. God bless our king, Florida. Yeah, I mean, it's Meridian, just like King weird that they're, they're trying so hard to screw with him. Right? Love that guy. They're never, they're never going to stop going after him because he fought the good fight. No matter what any of you Trump haters say, no, he's not pro-V. No, he's not pro-Israel. It's all a bit more complex yeah. than that. But he plays I love ball. the guy here and there but it's, he plays it's the only way to if he, if you want any political power you have to do that you know and then you can get in and change things but whatever and he's it's, not um, a vegan holistic health practitioner i don't want him to be i don't need him to be you know what i mean the president yeah. isn't also the neighborhood shaman and the healer and the conspiracy theorist in their mom's basement you know how many lives can he live if you know everything about something, great. You're good to go. But don't throw out America's best option at a true, strong, powerful, honorable leader. At the very least, he is tall, strong, and that is what America needs. That's why people don't like him, honestly. But whatever. God bless Donald Trump, guys. Everyone, right now. We're going to bow our heads. Lord Jesus Christ, please defend Donald Trump from all these goblin attacks, all these financial vampires, seekers of attention. Yeah, let him be defended forever. He doesn't need our prayers. He's defended. But Amen. For real, dude. Yeah, I mean, he, he look, stuck his neck out for all of us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Regardless I mean, of what you think, um, yeah, like it, it, it. You have to say that time and time again, they've thrown some big old boulders at him. You know, they've they've dropped some heavy anvils down on his plans, and they've they've really like from from the moment he won and even before that. You know, they didn't think he could, and then he did, and ever since it's been hell. You know, and he's he's a fighter, like. He, even if you hate him, you have to agree that he's he fights. He doesn't just give in. So it's really what a country needs, especially when it's in the state, the dire state that many countries are in right now. Uh, they need each country. I'm a nationalist. I think every country should have a fighter in, in the at the helm. And wherever you live, you should want that for your country to keep you safe and to make your country as good as it can be. Yeah. This whole thing with the V's, guys, I I have these debates with people all the time. 
Why have you all forgotten? Why have you all forgotten? Who robbed your memory? Why have you all forgotten that Donald Trump was anti-V going into the Oval Office? Openly, openly critiqued, criticized V's mm. injections, aut called them autism causing, called them mm. autism, told the public that he had a personal, you know, friend who had an injury. No funny business. He called it out. What world leader has done that yet? I don't even think Rand Paul has ever blown the the whistle on, you know, fees up until now, recently. Mm. But Trump was doing it way before it was cool. Do not forget that, people. You all are so quick to criticize and you think you're all so perfect and you could just waltz into the Oval Office and, and fix all of our issues. Give me a break. Okay. He was mm -hmm. anti-V decades before going in to the Oval Office. He went into the Oval Office, anti-V, had RFK, meetings with RFK to iron out how to defend against, you know, V legislature, how to protect people, how to protect mothers. He wanted to protect the mothers. Is he a holistic health practitioner? No. The guy eats McDonald's all day. I don't think he's, why would I go to him for health advice? He might even genuinely think that vaccines are good for the public when done right. In fact, I can prove that to you because when all this was popping off, he promoted the J&J &J and AstraZeneca. He warned against, what's it called? Pfizer. Pfizer. And, mm -hmm. and who was the worst one? Um, Moderna. Moderna. Worst, worst by far, Moderna. Guaranteed Fauci bot, you know, DNA unraveling. He warned against Pfizer. He warned against uh, whatever you just said, whatever you just said. Yeah. So. And he never got one. You guys, right? I guess you guys weren't paying attention. Now it's, he claims to have gotten one since then. Okay. He claims mm -hmm. to have gotten one. Basically. The media never would have let off about I that. I mean, Tucker Carlson claimed to go claimed to have got one when he was working for Fox. Then when he got mm -hmm. off, he goes, ah, I never got one. <laughs> never got one. I was lying. So if that's the pressure you feel in Fox News, what do you think the pressure is like in the White House? And granted, yeah. he's not a holistic health practitioner. He's not. So I'm not surprised if he makes dumb decisions. That being said, I don't think it makes him evil. And by the way, I'm sticking my neck out to defend what I think is perhaps the you know, thing that matters least about whether he's good or bad. Is he okay with the dumbest, most naive, most gullible, willingly led to the slaughter group of our population? Is he okay with them willingly sterilizing themselves, if not worse? Well, he might be kind of cutthroat like that. And we're not mature enough to know what the world stage is like like that. The world is run by killers. I hate to break it to you. Is he okay with letting the dumbest people run headfirst into their own slaughter? <laughs> he might have been. Did he arrange it? No. Is he for it? No. But is he going to throw everything away and, you know, go all out to defend the dumbest and the weakest? No, he may be cutthroat like that. I will give you that. And I don't think that's anything to be, you know, moralist, like, uh, you know, how could he ever please? Please. Everyone and it was a choice. Knows. Yeah. yeah, he gave you the choice. The whole warp speed, he jokes, he's a troll, okay? I have <laughs> read some books about people who people, you know, oh, Hated by the whole media, labeled everything he does, labeled wrong, immoral. Oh, who does that remind me of? A couple of people in world history. A couple <laughs> men who ruffled feathers, okay? Alistair Crowley being one. Another one led a, you know, certain, uh, certain German, you know, state <laughs> <laughs> into a world conflict. But people get labeled bad and 
you know, is it more complex than that? I think so. Yeah. So I've seen the tactics. Trump is under fire via the same tactics. He calls himself the father of the V. Yeah, that is hilarious to me. <laughs> Why? Because he entered the White House anti-V. He was anti-V decades ago. And then what happened? When COVID happened, he was anti-V for almost two years. Okay? For a full year, he was anti-V, anti-V. What is he saying, guys? Hydroxychloroquine. Mm -hmm. What was the other one? Shit, what's the other thing? Ivermectin. Ivermectin, hydroxychloroquine. He, when, when he first went to hospital, he had Zithromax. Yes. And he was like, this great thing, Zithromax. So he, he, he was, yeah, he was always yeah, uh, advocating please, these controversial things. Guys, you cannot just forget, all of you with this selective memory, you cannot just forget that he was on network news, major network news, international TV going, yeah, you know, get your, get your citrus and your local holistic protocols, literally. Yeah, I mean, how wow. could you guys forget this, that for months and months and months, he was going ivermectin, hydroxychloroquine. Why? Deworm yourself? The president of the United States, like Jesus, is telling people to deworm themselves to get <laughs> to combat COVID. I mean, that is holistic health advice that I would take. Mm. Okay, guys? He's saying use all these alternative medicines. For months and months and months, telling you subtly, how do you not see? He was adamantly anti V, anti V. He said, We're going to get it out. We're going to get it out. We're going to make sure it's a safe one. We're going to make sure it's a safe one for months and months and months and months. Delaying and delaying, all the while saying, I'm going to get it to you first. Not the FDA. The FDA is not going to get in there. This isn't going to be dem Democrat legislature where they push it in. And then when it's FDA approved, nobody gets to opt out. When it's uh, FDA approved, they can guarantee that it's going door to door, mandatory, and you're on a list. What did Trump yeah, do? Like other countries. What did Trump do? You say, you say, oh, he gave us the vaccine. I said V, whatever. I don't even think they care anymore. Oh. You know, he's the father of the V. He's taking, you know, that he's, you know, all this. I can't believe people complain like this. They'll never be happy with anyone. But he goes anti-V for months. Then what happens? He goes, okay, we got the V ready. Now we're going to get it, not door to door, in your neighborhood, in your city. We're going to drop it off. The military is going to be there. Not your Democrat activists, not your liberal Antifa activists going door to door, injecting people against their will. That was the alternative. Trump mm -hmm. did not bring the pandemic. He was the cause of the pandemic because they wanted to stop America in its tracks. They wanted to stop the world in its tracks. We had a strong leader in charge of the greatest nation on earth. Economy was booming. Everything's mm -hmm. going great. And then what? They hit him with this, just like they've hit us with a couple of world wars when certain countries start clean, cleaning up their act. Yeah, that's what they did. Orange man, good people. If you or have you've been critical this whole time, give him a chance. What do you have to lose? You're going to wait for what? The perfect candidate who doesn't exist. And who no else? Guy. What it, what uh, is the candidate? I mean, like they they're trying to get rid of Biden now because he tried yeah. to say he tried to critique Netanyahu once, um, but you know like I thought by now they would have a Democrat uh, you know opposition person ready to go like Pete Buttigieg or something. But yeah, they're just people sort of say like, what's happening? You know, Operation Warp Speed. Um, to me, not the end of the world, guys. What it happened? was a choice in America. He got consensual. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want a V? Oh, yeah. It'll be in your neighborhood. You have to get in your own car. You have to go drive there. You have to roll down your own sleeve, roll down your own window, mm -hmm. and ask for one. Mm -hmm. 
That wasn't the case in every country. Why is everyone forgetting that? Nobody was forced. Your job might have forced you because you have a terrible job because you've been mm -hmm. sucking off someone you shouldn't have been sucking off for years until it came down to it. Oh, yeah, I'm OK pretending I don't have ideological differences with these people and taking money from them until it actually matters. That's yeah. all the people who are angry at Trump because they got fired from their jobs. Trump didn't fire you from your jobs. Trump gave every state the choice to operate freely. Okay. Florida, I know that. I was here. We stayed open the entire time. Okay. I'm very critical of DeSantis. Very, very critical of DeSantis. I'll be critical of Trump if I need to. But again, guys, what's the worst thing we have against him? The worst thing you can say is he's okay with the blue haired freak baristas running head on into sterilization. <laughs> we all we all know dang well, and he knows dang well, any Trumper was not getting that fee. And if they were, yeah. they probably would have switched sides if the water got too hot to begin with anyway, because those are suggestible, you know, chakras turned off. Trump's not going to stick his neck out that far to save the dumbest of a population. So that being said, I still think he gave everyone the option. He was anti-V. He recommended every holistic health thing he could rattle off for months until he ever actually endorsed the V. And again, this is, you got to play ball a little bit. And he did everything he could. I'm satisfied. I'm happy with everything he did for the American people. To convince those smart enough to understand not to get the v mm. yeah okay. the information was out there for those that looked yeah, yeah. he made anyone sure of it anyone who's who's saying mm. oh he's the he's the sole cause of the v's no you're you just haven't looked into it deep enough you are just too triggered and i don't know what to tell you you know you're gonna let a great thing fly right by and not seize it so and when yeah. you're him, like I've been, I've been frustrated about, oh, why can't he just admit? Like when Candace interviewed him, he, you know, yeah. she tried to get him to admit, yeah, you know, lots of people had adverse effects, blah, blah, died. Um, but, and I've, I've been frustrated at that point where I was like, can you just say it? Like, yes, there were side effects. When you're him, every, everything that not only comes out of your mouth, but comes, you know, out of your Twitter or whatever, every, every letter of every word is looked at as a legal avenue of attack basically as a, everything that is said could potentially mean a lawsuit could potentially be right. um something that could financially affect him and that's why you know sometimes people think he's coded with different things he tweets or whatever but uh yeah. if if he admits fault if you go you know what yeah uh they killed a lot of people i didn't know whatever then boom the people that are waiting on your every word finding the weak uh, looking for weakness smelling trying to find that point they've found it you know and then they can uh 100 100 so and then you it's not like us talking right now it's the then you've got israel people don't like his positions on israel well Believe it or not, he's actually way less pro-Israel than Ben Shapiro. Way, yeah. way far off. He's not Ben Shapiro level pro-Israel. Of course he's not. not. He's not pro-boots on the ground. Not at all. He's not pro-boots on the ground in any armed conflict that may involve America. So what was he in favor of? They changed the uh, capital city Embassy. to where it probably should have should have been already? Move the Embassy, okay. yeah. Now, I've heard some people say that he is in the fold because he's actually planning to claim authority over Israel as the king of Israel and the new <laughs> kingdom of Israel. I swear, my buddy told me that. My, oh my good God, friend really? told me that. Because people yeah, think he, he's the returned um, something? Kind of. Some prophecy but he, or whatever? Yes. So... I don't know so much about that, but I know that he is not a Zionist. He's never claimed to be a Zionist. Okay. He has 
business dealings with Israel. He's a business type, you know, respectful type relationship he has with every country, which is, hey, these are this is a world power. They probably bought out a ton of my friends and these are people who you need to deal with carefully. You know, it's not American just like, politics. It's not just like I'm running the show and I get to tell them, you know, they're wrong about everything. They just flip the script. You get in there and it's a dick. It's a dense, thick swamp, like he said. So, yeah. hey, I, I wish he could be as critical as as possible on Israel. I wish he would drop all support of Israel, but it's not that simple. You know, he's got Jews in his family. Yeah. Um, I've got it, Jews it, in my American family. Policy. You know, it's, it's not a bad thing, but it's sticky. You get in these sticky situations. You've got feelings you're protecting. You've got, you know, your the self you're looking out for legally. It's tough. You know, it's tough being a leader of anything guys it's tough having a big following it's tough representing all these different people so i don't like his position on israel i don't like his position on the v's but with the v's i see through it all i'm not triggered i'm not offended i don't think he's doing anything wrong with the v's he was anti-v for over a year then like oh yeah i'm the king of the v's i got them out first yeah i take all it's not hilarious taking credit for your enemies, like for take it credit taking credit for your enemies' tactics, which you foiled. You know, yeah, he's a master troll. Everyone he likes knows he's a troll. He, he, I like RF. Sorry, what, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say I like RFK. You know, I think he's cool. Oh, I get a little really? bit of a good vibe from him, but I don't think he should be America's president. You know, no way. The job is talking. Yeah, he's got to talk. Now, if it, Dr. Morris said that he could probably take a look at that. Yeah. If he could get down to Dr. Morris in, in Florida, All right, he might be able to heal that voice. Robert but, the White, Dr. Morris himself. Over dude, on the West Coast. He'll fix your voice. Because he so, can't you know, go and, on talking like that. It's it's a joke. Yeah. So, hey, guys. And also uh, being really pro-Israel. I'm That's not pro one of these Israel. I'm not one of these people who thinks Trump can do no wrong, but I don't think his, I think he de dealt with the whole sticky V situation in the pandemic very gracefully, tr truthfully. I think, I feel like he stuck out for us enough. I feel like I'm smart enough to offend it for myself on top of how he looked out for us. I don't need Trump to type out the exact script, the survival script. For the pandemic, the holistic health protocols that you're going to follow that are impeccable, that have, you know, what do you guys want? What do these people want from Trump? Him to like go mm -hmm. to a siesta key beach, like a drum circle and just like switch, like become vegan and be like, guys, you know, my chakras are open and, and you know, we're all on the same page about everything. It's amazing. No, <laughs> he's a warrior. He's fighting a warrior's. He's out in the trenches. Oh, this. He's fighting goblins, sure hacking the heads off demons. He needs a. So yeah. This is this is Trump down at Siesta Key. He's uh, he's on a journey. <laughs> Spiritual journey. And. Uh, yeah, the, the Trump, all the Trump AIs are so good. They, they were the first AI images that I ever saw. People just immediately started making, putting Trump in these ridiculous, you know, scenarios and stuff. Um, he's the only uh, politician to tell Netanyahu to cool it with the bombing as well. He literally said, hey, Phoebe, why don't you cool it with the bombings, huh? Yes. No one's he ever commanded. said that to him. <laughs> he commanded respect in the Middle East. People were not... You know, yeah. the, the cafeteria, there was no food fights in the cafeteria when he was in the room. Like everyone acted respectfully yeah. with his watchful eye. He's like the strong father in the room. This is why people don't like him. You just have daddy issues. Exactly. You just have exactly. daddy issues, maybe mommy issues. You just don't like a strong man who's accountable, who tells everyone what to do. Some people are just triggered by authority and it's... <laughs> It's disgusting. And I'll say, guys, this is not just a political thing. This is a spiritual thing. 
Trump has what our, the previous owner of this bookstore. Sweet. Um, the previous owner of my bookstore. Got, by the way, guys, my brother and I were lucky enough to inherit, not inherit, you know, still had to pay for it, still had to move it. It wasn't a family thing. I'm just saying inheriting in the sense that it was passed on to us. We, my brother and I became the stewards of probably the largest occult metaphysical, you know, library in all of Florida. So the gentleman who started this store 50 years ago, if not more, it's 1972 in the Palm Beach area. He had amassed all this stuff. He was a wizard, a true, you know, as close as you'll get to a wizard in real time. He's still alive, but um, comes in every once in a while. Basically, he is a metaphysician, astrologer type, you know, can list off most of these books and very, very well read, right? And basically, um, he believed that politics was just a sham, you know, don't care about it, look the other way, it's all just nonsense, politicians are liars, you know, Democrat, Republican, he never gave a crap about any of it, okay? Well, then Donald Trump came around. He saw how bad things were getting under Obama. He saw the degradation of society and American culture. But he held his tongue, didn't think there was a political solution, okay? Just stuck to his books, things like that. Well, then what happened? Then you have the 2016 election. Donald Trump comes down the escalator, announces his candidacy, and then what? Tamaj, he's the previous owner, I'll say his name, Tamaj, the previous owner, the wizard of Lake Worth, the wizard of Palm Beach County, basically said, Trump is different. He was not coming at this politically. He saw Trump, saw the Trump family, and he said, this is different. This is Trumpian energy. This is straight from heaven. This is assisted by the angels. This is the great awakening of the Northern European people, wherever they live around the planet. You know, this is why Australians resonate with Trump. This is why people all across the world resonate with Trump. He represents goodness, nobility, all these things. Even if that's not how he lived every day of his life, this is the world stage, how he's showing up what he represents. This is the offense that he caused to the world leaders. Trumpian energy, triumph to Trump. Okay. Well, there you go. Donald Trump is being assisted by angels in his endeavors. You can say it's the Tesla tech, Donald Trump, you know, uncle, paternal uncle, John G. Trump was the man responsible for seizing or, you know, uh, what would they call it? Indexing all of Nikola Tesla's inventions mm -hmm. in New York, I believe he had a warehouse and upon his yeah, death, his upon his death, the FBI was tasked with seizing. I don't know if they seized it or if they were just cataloging it, but they went to his warehouse and we're looking for things of importance. Mm -hmm. Well, John G. Trump would go on to, yes, be the uncle of Donald Trump. And there are many who believe that a bit of this Tesla technology, Tesla, you know, inner, inner uh, secret, preserved technology, who knows, something was passed down through the Trump family even if it was just a spark of curiosity, even if it was just a spark of genius from touching one of Tesla's tools, who knows? Something was passed down from the Teslas to the Trumps and America is thriving because of it. Well, 
whatever. That's all off that news story. They should <laughs> they should be ashamed going after Donald Trump like this. But uh, yeah, it's just so nakedly, you know, lawfare. It's politically, you know, beat him beat him on the debate stage. Like I would just kill for another debate. Do you remember the? Obviously, the Hillary debates, the Biden debates. That was that was like game night where you could go to a bar if they were if they were playing it, and it's it was just so funny. It was it was such a great, uh, just great entertainment. I just missed that element of it as well. He's just he's such a fighter, and he loves he loves a debate. I love debate. You know, I mm-hmm. love uh, two two in, two minds going going at it on a stage intellectually. How quick is the, are there is their wit? You know how how are they able to hold that room and then the entire nation and the entire world in the palm of their hand when they when they speak? You know it's it's there's some great little moments of that and there wasn't there hasn't been any debates. You know the last election there was one or two pathetic. You know they didn't do the normally there's supposed to be three in a presidential election. It was just mm-hmm. like one and a half or whatever. And uh, who who have they got? You know in the in the red corner, in the blue corner, to go up against him. Uh, yeah, it's it's weird. But we can move on. Yep, Trump was against climate change, BS. Yeah, for sure. He was against human trafficking. Number one world leader who's ever spoken out and fought against world uh, human trafficking, sex trafficking, pedophilia. You've mm-hmm. seen more pedophile arrests, sex crime related arrests under Donald Trump than you have any person, any other ruler in American history. I mean, guys, that's crazy. The numbers don't lie. He did a lot of stuff for us. Firearms, you know, Second Amendment rights. It's all there. People are just complaining. People think, oh, everything's controlled. Oh, he's controlled too. Cut me a break. You're controlled. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's politics, US politics. You 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 have to be controlled by a few different um, groups, movements, or whatever. Otherwise you get nowhere. You're you know, killed off before it even begins. He's it's our just king about and I'm king. proud. He's our yeah. king and I'm proud. I'm even prouder that he chooses to live in Florida. But exactly. let's keep it moving. Let's see. We, we got only a couple minutes left here. But, oh, boy. Uh, burning uh, trash is burning trash yeah. is fuel is considered renewable energy in Miami. Protesters yeah. disrupt climate change event. And what does that last part say? Um, well, they they were protesters that got up in a uh, climate event to spread the word about this. which I didn't know. Um, it's in Miami, Dade County, and uh, yeah, they they just burn trash. They burn like plastic or whatever, um, and they have different waste burning facilities. I think they're trying to uh, open a new one now. And look, it's a tough call. What do you do with all the trash? Um, they don't put it in the ocean, thank God. And uh, anything could anything's better than that. But yeah, they burn it. I guess landfills are a bit tricky sometimes. And uh, so it's just sparking a bit of debate with that. And uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. I think different nations used to buy trash from Western countries, but uh, they don't need to anymore because Asia is getting powerful. Um, so we could mention, it's not exactly Florida, but there's some very interesting uh, religious news basically going on in Jerusalem. In the the traditional no, uh, widely believed uh, yeah, holy it's... land, you know, and there's Everyone needs a lot to of people that believe this. A lot of people that believe in this live in Florida, South Florida. So mm-hmm. there is a connection there because New the Yorkers, opponent, New Yorkers, but Israel, also Israel is the nation of New Yorkers, Zionist Christians as well, which is a fascinating friendship, you know, religiously. It, yep. You would think that there's huge points of opposition, but no. there is a great friendship there, and it's a very powerful, rich uh, pact that they have. Yep. And 
it's taken like I only recently have I discovered what they believe and what they are trying to achieve in okay, terms of Zionism. Of, yeah. Yeah. The New Yorkers and the Zayas, uh, they want to bring about the end of the world so that we so that it forces Jesus to come back. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that that's that that's what the vibe was over in the yeah. Judeo Christian world. Yeah, all these mega churches are pretty on board with Israel, believe it or not, guys. They're like they, they worship. They worship them. Yes. They say, it, 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 they say um, New Yorkers are better than us. Basically. Yeah. So let's just pull up. Do we have a picture of that altar that they're building? We all know about this. Yeah, They've yeah. been trying to rebuild the Temple of Solomon for a long time, or Temple of King David, whatever, and you know this whole prophecy well they built an altar that they plan on using in the coming months here if not next month that yep, is a month. altar with a ramp going up to the top and what this basically is is a canaanite altar they're not even hiding it it's a horned altar straight out of the canaanite Phoenician black, you know, black nobility of the Phoenician um, sacrificers, fact sacrifice culture that the Phoenicians are accused of. Well, they use these horned altars that are almost like the horned ears of a owl on all four sides. And this horned altar was the telltale sign of a Canaanite blood sacrifice altar, often human children. And many times they're not even large enough for a human or a big bowl to lay on. They're only big enough for a small animal. Perhaps I finally got a the child. Yeah. yeah. Can you zoom up and down a little bit? Mm -hmm. to like widen that. So you just call these not going to be Yeah, great. perfect. Perfect like that. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. This is what but, this altar looks like. And guys, CBS. why is it? Yeah. Well, you can't find this on Google. If you Google search this, you cannot find this. It's it's well, almost it, scrubbed. I yeah, it's if if you're just Googling like altar or Jerusalem or something, but you can go and watch if you're looking up the red heifer, the the red heifers in Israel on CBS. They just did they just did a five minute coverage of this where they send someone over to Israel to interview people and do a full investigation. This is CBS, you know, interesting logo that CBS has. Uh, people are probably aware of that real, uh, real interesting choice of imagery. Um, but they went over and this five minute clip, uh, I, I seriously can't believe it's real. You know, yeah. when you see it, like it's Despicable. honestly one of the most crazy things I've ever seen, not even just on the news, just anywhere that it's just their normal, what they're saying in it casually and what these people that they're interviewing are saying. Uh, it's <laughs> so, yeah, this has been built to sacrifice, to do a ritualistic sacrifice, a blood sacrifice of young female cows that yes. are from Texas. So that's what links it to America. Yes. They, they're a rare kind of cow that is red, a red heifer. And uh, they have to go through and look at each and every hair on this cow. And if they have a, a few white hairs or something and other than red, it doesn't, they don't count anymore. So there was yeah. a worldwide search. And Texas, it's crazy. Texas is where they found it. Yeah, this hyper-literal interpretation of Scripture yeah. is the greatest proof that these people are complete idiots okay complete idiots bloodthirsty riddled with demons riddled with parasites completely infested with demons seeking to spill the blood of an innocent animal for what to absolve their sins <laughs> they even tell you that oh yeah we sacrifice animals to purify us of our sins because these are some bad sins, guys. You know, can't keep can't keep them in this body. You got to mm. discharge that stuff. You know, 
So that's what they do. That's what they're trying to do. That's why they slaughter the chickens in the streets of Brooklyn and elsewhere in the Capara or Caparo ritual. Uh, it's despicable. This is blood magic. This is black magic in its truest form. All blood magic is black magic. And, you know, th this is disgusting. Now, this probably doesn't this probably doesn't shock too many of you meat eaters because this is pretty much what a dinner meal. This is pretty much what dinner looks like for most of you. Um, looks like most of your guys' kitchens. And <laughs> I understand why this might not be, you know, hey, you eat cow every day. What's so special about these four cows? You know, we've got probably 400 cows waiting to get eaten in the uh, chat room here. What's so special? Well, they're trying to usher in about the Antichrist. This? They're trying to usher in the Antichrist, right? Yeah. They're bringing so this up on a whole high altar in the same style as Native Americans. Exactly. Just the way you describe, it's not stepped like the Aztecs or the Mayans. It's a slope yeah. so that the when the wizards uh, and you know witches and stuff would walk up the slope, no one would be able to look up their dress, whatever. You know, that's in the scripture. That's in some writings or something. That's that's ancient Canaanite practices, ancient ritual, blood magic peoples of America. Uh, why have they? Why why is it white, glossy, shiny, reflective? um surface i mean they're probably going to slip on it and everything it's just it's going to be a horrible thing to it's win. white it's white because they want white, to see sure. the blood dripping down it exactly and and, and the it, news guys this will be broadcast blood. this will be broadcast to the world and you'll be able to see the blood running down these white walls it's, it's like carry it's like hollywood it's like they, they could have done they could have made it out of anything like stone or wood or something but it was it's out of this it's, it's for maximum effect. And then they're going to burn. It's not over yet. They burn these young. They're basically they're kids now, so they have to wait until they're not like a baby cow, basically, uh, which is next month is their birthday, April, like my, like my birthday's in April. And it's like, great, we've been waiting so long for this. They're going to kill them. And then rabbis that are pure, they call them. These are just pure rabbis. They have purity because they have been living in safety of the temple and they have never touched anything dead their definition of a pure rabbi has never touched anything dead this is just all new information for me i've never heard anything like this i think it's very yeah. fascinating but it, it like so they've never eaten meat then you know they've, no even a salad leaf is dead they've touched plenty of dead stuff they're defilers they're blasphemers they are just you know, wretched souls that are just seeking to, you know, deflect their, defer their sins to, to some other creature to pay for them, which they've been doing for uh, generations and generations. And it kind of works in a crude way, you know, to certain gods see that as favorable, but Demon gods, demons. Yes. I mean, you, yes. You, the, the the Jerry Marzinski's work is is yeah. incredible in going into the way that demons can give you instant powers that are very impressive and magical, but you live a cursed life forever as soon as you accept them and you agree and you sign on the dotted line to say, okay, I'll have these powers. It's called schizophrenia. But these are sure. uh, certain things that defy the laws of physics that we know of that are, are accessible if you, if you sign your name in blood and you give your sure. body and your soul to these entities that want to, they want to come in and where Can you, you scroll this up a little so we see the, mm. please? Sure. And could you also search Exodus chapter 20, verse 26? You got it. Please. 2026. We'll, yeah, Exodus 2026. Maybe Bob Marley knew about this. Saying about Babylon quite a lot. Yep. And yeah, blood magic rules the world, guys. Uh, animal sacrificers, human sacrificers. If you want to fight this, stop eating meat. That's how you fight the system. That's how you stop the blood you know blood debt 
But here, Exodus 2026, KJV, if you could just throw that in there too, please. Yeah, there's this website that I just found that translates it into all the different languages. I'm just blanking on the name of it right now, but you can see slight differences in translation. Uh, what was that, K what KJV, was that? please. Yep, so we're going to see what this looks like here. Um, Neither shall thou go up by steps unto my own. Yeah, it's a little small. I've got it. I've got it here in my other tab, but just so they can see it. Cool. Thank you. Exodus 20, 25, and 2026. 20, yeah. And if thou wilt make me an altar of stone, thou shalt not build it of hewn stone. For if thou lift up thy tool upon it, thou hast polluted it. That's why the Native Americans didn't build out of stone, guys. That's why the Canaanite altars were always, uh, you know, built out of like stone uh, cemented together that was from the ground, not carved into shapes. So Exodus 20, 26, we've got, neither shalt thou go up to go up by steps Here we go. unto mine altar. Why? That thy nakedness be not discovered thereon. So they don't have steps because mm -hmm. steps are steeper and you could see under their skirts and their tunics like Jimmy was saying. So <clears throat> that's why you have a slow sloping ramp like that. And that's the same style you see in the mounds and the earthworks and the pyramids of North America. In South America, Central America, parts of Mexico, yes, Canaanite. you have your stone, step stone pyramids, but those are pagans. Those are pagans, guys. Remember, if you go back and ask these Canaanites from the Old Testament, who they, what they would call themselves, they would say that they are children of Israel too. Okay. Mm. Or whatever. And we've had, there's interviews that rabbis have done explaining how quickly certain Jewish populations revert back to worshiping Baal and Canaanite deities. On, in hard times, they'll just go back to worshiping wow. Canaanite deities. You know. Even open. today. Yes. So. Yep. Baal and that's why you, you have a lot of um you have a lot of stuff whatever it's We're interesting running out of gas here Exodus, um 20 because at 24 an el uh, an altar of earth thou shalt make unto me and shalt sacrifice yeah. thereon thy burnt offerings so they they are slitting the throats of these uh, red heifers and then burning them then they will yes. bathe in the ash right uh, they mix the ash with water, and these pure uh, rabbis will, will bathe in them. And they peace offerings, uh, thy sheep, thine oxen, in all places where I record my name, I will come unto thee, and I will bless thee. So they're, they're getting the blessing uh, to then, because it's not just anywhere that they're doing this. This altar has been built, as the scripture says, on an olive mound, which overlooks the Alaska Mosque which is the most sacred, one of the most sacred sites to the Islamic world. And it's the site of where apparently the dome on the, the, um, the second temple, I'm blanking on its name, the, the temple that was there two or 3,000 years ago, apparently, um, which yes. was the Israelite temple. Can the you Romans search destroyed. horned altar, please? Sure. And you'll see what this means. Or just Canaanite horned altar. Yeah, that's it. That's it. No need. That's it. Nice. Yeah. Just any one of those. You see the corners. That's a telltale sign yeah. of a Canaanite altar, a blood sacrifice, Old Testament, you know, mm. sacrifice, sacrificial altar to Old Testament Canaanite deities. The horns in the corners are the telltale sign. Guys, there's horns in the corner of that altar they made in Israel that they're going to sacrifice these red heifers on. I mean, can you oh believe it's 2024 God. and people are doing that. human sacrifice? 
Yeah, go back to the picture of the um, yeah. thing now so people can see. I didn't even notice that. Oh, yeah. And this is just on mornings on CBS, like it's nothing. I, I couldn't believe how casually they were. They're proud. <laughs> okay, I got the, I've got the newly built altar here, sharing it. So you just have to click. And it's going to be really blurry. But, um, it's okay. But you can make out can, the corners. There's horns yeah. in the corners at the top. All right, guys. We didn't get through all the stories. I do got to bounce. I got, I got, you know, shit to do, plays to make, hustles to hustle, hits to lick, you know, them streets, <laughs> them streets don't sleep. Oranges you got to get out eat. there. Enough time spending money for free with all you guys. Thanks for the tip, tips, Jimmy. Anything you want to plug? No, no. Just uh, Sunday. I want to plug no. Sunday. I want. I'm going to be there. Yeah. Bach Tower meetup, guys. Make sure to come check uh, us out. Hang out at Bach Tower. Uh, yeah. On the 24th Sunday. The 24th, which noon. is Sunday. We're meeting at noon, but we'll be there till six, if not later. And we're, like I said, we'll maybe try and get dinner somewhere else if it's easy to organize. But um, yeah, yeah, come check it out. What about uh, you know, if they want to support the channel? Exactly. Yeah, the, we're wanting to do more things like this. We need uh, funding to be able to organize very exciting uh, ideas that we're throwing around at the moment. Um, and so jump on over to the Patreon. We've just had um, someone saying that they wanted to sign up tonight and, you know, it's in angel numbers. So you have your choice of different angel numbers, of how much you would like to be blessed with each and every month. Uh, and then you will also have access to the entirety of the back catalog, the complete collection, because stuff's getting pulled from YouTube. It's We're getting a little bit of uh, frustration over there. And so a lot of the conversations from uh, the early phases of the channel and everything like that. A lot of fascinating conversations that you want access to. You want to be able to pull them up and long form, really interesting things that you don't want to have ads uh, cutting up, you know, totally like slicing up your, your thought vibe while you're drifting down some of these, some of these directions and some of these chats, the ads can really ruin it. So jump on the Patreon, you know, Sweet. it's uh it's yeah, like okay, five that's enough of that. Okay, okay, okay. Enough of that. <laughs> you guys get it. Go support, whatever, or not, whatever. Just fucking keep jerking in your mom's basement, whatever. Buy Sign us a up. cup of coffee a month. Literally, it's a it's one cup of coffee if it's good coffee. Buy some books from the Dancing Elephant if you guys want, but uh, go on Patreon, whatever. But Raven's Beak, thanks for the five bucks. Uh, Chungus 500, thanks for that. In 813 on 318, thanks for the 420. ICBS, all right, whatever. Nice, good job. Thanks for the 420. I forget what we were talking about, so I forget what that was in reference to, but. Zellerom Morales, thanks for the 10 bucks. I live in Lubbock, Lubbock, Texas, on the 33rd degree latitude. It's flat and dirty here. Just how mm -hmm. I like them, baby. Just how I like them. We do have one old world church. Do you know anything interesting about this area? Uh, I have an old world Texas video. Um, what was it called? Forbidden mm -hmm. History of Texas. Last couple, like 20 days ago. I posted that March 1st, I think. It's a big so one. check out that. I don't know too much about Lubbock, but check out the video. You know, I focus on interesting states. Florida. Texas is right up there. I'll I'll be honest. Florida's Texas is is you know second to Florida in terms of importance to America and cultural influence, etc. But no, not much. 33rd degree. Sorry. Thanks for the 10 bucks. Appreciate it. I'm going to sleep. Damn, people be tipping, yo. 
Cognitive dissonance. Thanks for the 499. The Oregon Trail was built 200 years ago. Most people just haven't gotten here yet. Old world Oregon. Alrighty. Crook. Vivek. The Nanjaya Crook. Thanks for the 20 bucks. Appreciate it, man. For real. Only trying to make you laugh. Wow. Their plans are being exposed sooner than they anticipated. Being seen by far too many normies. You see this sped up version of long made plans hastily being put into action ahead of schedule repeatedly if you're paying attention. Good point, man. Good point. It does mm -hmm. seem seem like they are not on schedule they are yeah yeah you said it better than you know you summed it up they are reacting to where the world's at by speeding up their plans and it seems like it's pretty messy on the world stage it doesn't seem like a swift ushering in of what they wanted all along I think if we blow the lid off this, I think if, if we all, everyone gets eyes on this animal sacrifice thing and denounces it, mm. I think we're potentially going to see one of the largest mass exoduses of meat eating in the world. We're going to see one of the largest switches to vegetarianism there's ever been. It's going to have the exact opposite effect. You know, just like the COVID, the COVID created a bunch of holistic health nuts. COVID created a bunch of, you know, radical mm. anti-government activists. COVID created a bunch of involved teachers and moms who care about their kids' health. Like, you know, it, things have the opposite effect. God doesn't let evil people unfold their evil deeds just, uh, you know, willy-nilly. So I agree, Dananjaya Crook, for real. They are, you know, it's what you should expect from bloodthirsty bloodthirsty uh, scribblers you know scribe scribblers the sadducees the, the sadducees and the pharisees these are the same people jesus was warning against same same exact people same exact culture same exact sins same exact lifestyle the meat markets the flesh the diet adrenochrome hooking christians on diet adrenochrome i mean yeah this is what the evil ones compel them to do on this earth whatever dananjana dananjaya crook thanks for the 20 bucks appreciate it oh shit don on <laughs> thanks for the two dollars don anjaya dananjaya okay that's not that bad dananjaya. have we just been has he just gotten you to chant like as, as some sort of spell yeah, is, is, is that, that Hebrew? <laughs> is that is what that have you Eno done? Is that Enochian? Was... Is that my mom's name in an Enochian? <laughs> what have you awoken now that you've That's... chanted this to the entire audience? Um, Kirk Wood, thanks for the five bucks. Dr. Longo, are you planning on traveling to watch the eclipse? Ooh. I'm in the path, but not going to view it myself. I saw the one in October. I think one a year is good for me. You know, people are saying this one's being a little, might be a little spicy, might be a little yeah. situation involved, a little blackout situation, which I can mm -hmm. attest to because when the eclipse came through um, last October, you had, I know it's Sanskrit, to Dhananjaya. I know, I'm only kidding. But. <laughs> Are you traveling to watch the eclipse? I'm when I was there the first for the one in October, it blacked out our, our devices. It sucked all the energy out of my mm -hmm. camper van. It destroyed my girlfriend's phone. It did the same thing to Jeffrey's camper, who was on earlier today. Yeah, man. I had no idea that it did that. 
I mean, that's like. Oh yeah, check out my crazy. Texas video. It sucked the the energy out of my battery through the solar panels. Here, uh, Dananjaya, two bucks. Appreciate it. Sanskrit guys, we're trying to sign off here, and you guys keep tipping. Okay, what the heck? Okay, Dananjaya, thanks for the Sanskrit. Keep doing it, dude. I, I like your take on that. I, I agree. It summed up kind of what Jimmy and I were talking about before we went live, too, a little bit. Yeah. But um, the hubris will be the downfall. Holy Chavez, thanks for the 199. I love this. I wish I had another two hours to fucking tee off on this, but do you think we are in the end times? Oh, boy. We are not in the end times. We're in the best of times. Okay. The only thing that's going to be ending is the reign of demonic, bloodthirsty, you know, what do they call them? Rakshakas, bloodthirsty demons that have been Amen. infesting humans for years. The age of Aquarius will be an age of newfound returning to vegetarianism. Okay. Mark my words. Humanitarianism, animal rights that kicked off with, with you know, the Third Reich the crusade on animals rights who led that oh the leader of germany during world war ii was the first democratically elected leader to enact animal rights legislature on a national level yeah it's vegetarian he was yeah <laughs> it's because oh he was so evil he liked humans more than people what yeah. a piece of shit you know like yeah. Come on. You see how much he liked deer? You see how much he liked deer eating out of his bare hand? Like yeah. in his garden? Bambi. His whatever. We'll talk about it another, another time. Do you think we're in the end times? No. Things are going great. That's why they're ramping up their, their counterattacks. You know, why did the pandem ha pandemic happen? Because we were soaring high, soaring high into uncharted territory, Un uncharted. You know prosperity that they did not want us to have access to that's why they just with the pandemic and it probably helped them get closer to this whole red heifer sacrifice agenda but we do not live in the end times okay of all the occult books i've read and stuff like that which is not not a ton i'm not saying i'm like the fucking master of anything but if i've read enough to have a little bit of, of authority on you know end times i would say we're living far from it the opposite there's no such thing as end times there's no such thing as beginning times mankind has always been on this earth and he always mm. will be okay we're not at risk of being it's potentially the end of their reign it's potentially the end of the of the decadence it's... rome that they've built the 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 the, the um, babylonian tower babylon it was a horrible yeah. degenerate place and they were so drunk with power and arrogant into thinking that they will, nothing will ever happen to them and they can keep partying and doing horrible atrocities. But then yep. it, it all burnt down and it all collapsed. So, can't last. We do not live in the end times. We do, however, live in the times of the Antichrist. Antichrist. Mm -hmm. We live in the times of the Antichrist. Okay. Steiner says this too. Steiner prophesies this. However, let's just look at the word. Antichrist. Does that mean evil? No. Does that mean a, a reign of evil and an age of evil? No. We live in the age of the Antichrist, and there is nothing wrong with that. The Antichrist is nothing to be feared. It is not a person that's going to be born out of a single woman. It's not going to be a demon born out of some dark, you know, agenda and some billionaire orgy plan, you know, like Rosemary's baby. This is not the Antichrist. That's what they're trying to terrify you into thinking. Because you're so terrified of every trigger word that you'll never figure anything out. And you'll just be an emotional consumer that they can just, you know, prod into different opinions. Okay. The Antichrist is not evil. It is good. And you will hear me on this. It is being broadcast to the whole world right now the antichrist is not bad anti means what opposing 
Yes, but why? Not opposing as in directly opposite, directly counter in nature in every way. Anti means before. If you antedate something, that means before. Anti. Antichamber, the antechamber anti. of the building. Anti like the means first. before. Okay? Prior. What we're talking about is Aquarius. The age of ant. Go look up the, the birth of the Antichrist on Astro theme. They say that they've plotted this. They say that they, oh, yeah, the Antichrist was born. We were using, you know, triangulating or corroborating it with this religious text, with this religious text, with this, you know. And they say it's February 1962. Aquarius. The beginning of the age of Aquarius is the factual, historical, you know, precise birthday of the Antichrist, who's not a person, who's not the devil. As bad as I think King Charles and Obama, and these are not the Antichrists. They wish they had that much power. These people are, you know, these are, this is like the paparazzi of demons. Uh, they're, they're not even close to calling making any decisions mm. so antichrist means before before christ mm. anti-christ before christ well we're after christ no 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 you need to know your astrology astrology aquarius is before pisces jesus was the age of pisces the ages go backwards in astrology the ages go backwards. So Pisces, then Aquarius, you had Aries, blood, an age of blood sacrifice and warfare and, you know, physical might. Then you have Jesus, who marked the end of the age of Aries, the beginning of the age of Pisces. He was the last sacrifice. He was the sacrifice of all sacrifices. He voided sacrifice in the world scale. He voided it. He, he discharged the debt forever, for years to come, for ages to come. He ended blood sacrifice single-handedly. Antichrist is now the zodiac sign prior to Pisces, but in human years, this is after. So living on Earth, this is after, you know, temporally, but zodiacally, Antichrist before pisces aquarius capricorn aquarius pisces that's the order and we flip it because we're talking about ages of astrology so this is the dawning of the age of aquarius we all know that and that marked the beginning of the age of the antichrist it is aquarius nothing to be feared sorry guys superstition dissolved do it that way, but you will. You can cling to your superstitious, immature, juvenile beliefs. You can choose to live in a terrorized, terrifying, you know, end times paradigm. Not me. Fucking, I'm going to have kids. They're going to have a great life. Those kids are going to have kids and they're going to have a great life. Fucking suck my balls with this end times, you know, UN. The, this is going to trigger World War Three, And what? America's going to sit here like it did the last two world wars, untouched. Okay, a rifle behind every blade of grass. You know why the Japanese didn't invade in World War II? They were planning. They were gearing up for it. They, they had a Japanese general who'd lived in, in America for decades. Or he visited for years. I, you know, I'm not, I don't know the story very, very well, but you guys can look it up. Look up the quote. I know the quote. Well, Japanese general who went to America, spent time there, then was in Japan when the war was breaking out. And they said, we need to invade. We need to invade. You know, we can sweep across the continent. They won't be able to mobilize. You know, we can take them from the sea. All this. They're they planning it. Japanese, they were bold. They were going to go for it. And, you know, whatever... Pearl Harbor, yeah, that was probably all staged and, you know, manipulated. But we're just, let me tell the story. 
So you've got Japanese planning to take over America. And then what? There was a guy who lived there, like I was saying. And he said, no, 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 no. You can't take over America. There's, there will be a rifle behind every blade of grass. You don't have to worry about the military. We're not, you're, at that point, you're not fighting the military. You're fighting 300 million armed, entrenched, you know, people who had already fought to take over that land not too long before were pretty, you know, geared up to do so again. That's what they were up against, the American public. That's, the, that's who they're terrified of. The Illuminati is not afraid of the American military. They're afraid of the American public. So we need weapons. We need, you know, firearms. Go do all this stuff. Okay, we got to move on. That gets me all in. Amen. Up. I'd love to talk end times and, you know, things like that. No apocalypse, guys. Life's going to go on great. I'm sorry if that doesn't, you know, terrify you into subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you want to be terrified and think the world's going to end in a pile of, uh, you know, flaming diapers, go watch the John Levi channel. John Levi from the House of Levi, from the tribe of Levi. Um, you know, go file into the John Levi YouTube channel slash synagogue service over at John Levi. If you'd like to learn about the, you know, futility of being human and just you're just waiting to get apocalypsed at any given moment okay mm. yeah go watch john levi and just live off your mom okay <laughs> that's how i see that but then also you've got your simulation theory people we live in the simulation of the simulation <laughs> the simulacrum which is a word i don't know what it means <laughs> I have uh, had so much, so much barbecue in my digestive. I have so much impacted feces in my colon. I have pondered the deepest, you know, alchemical texts. Okay, whatever. That's my impression. <laughs> but, uh, We've got to organize a debate for you two. Oh, I, I love mean, it. I mean, that would be insane. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Shout out RKX. He's a good sport. Not at all. Just kidding. <laughs> um, what's the esoteric significance of abracadabra abra means open so it's the beginning and then it's like a mirrored word almost not exactly but you know I'm not a ceremonial magician I don't know much but I know abra means open abra April the beginning the first sign of the zodiac abracadabra um yeah. Shoop. Thanks for the 20 bucks. I'm eating chicken right now. Well, I'll take that 20 bucks and I'll donate it right to PETA. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do with that 20. Just kidding. Oh, Thanks. right to the, the chicken uh, vaccine company and beef. Vaccine I appreciate company. it. The, the chicken, we should, maybe I shouldn't have said that word so many times, but they probably don't care anyway. They're, they're putting a lot of bees in uh, animals right now. You, yeah. you, you, never, you never know. Vax chicken. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they all get COVID. So we gotta be we gotta be careful. Shoop shoop. Uh you know, just make sure to discharge your sins into the chicken before you slaughter yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> when you're going to Brooklyn. This is that this is just Brooklyn etiquette, guys. Get rid of those sins. Few free future now, five bucks. They have one more trick, a bioweapon to scare people. I have first hand knowledge of this. Doesn't surprise me, man. Isn't that what what the pandemic was? Chinese Chinese bioweapon. All right, what did Fourth Emperor. Say every day, don't be afraid. World, World War World War Two was Mandela affected. Not, NYC was bombed allegedly. Uh, He's a funny guy. Lay off the pipe, dude. <laughs> Lay off that pipe. He's a he's a funny one. Quit donating to your dealer. Just send all the funds this way. Just donate them over here. We'll get you on the right path. Fourth Emperor. Free future now. Two bucks from COVID event. Entity inside some people. Yeah, I think so. Oh, for sure. The Nanjaya. The Nanjaya. 
Crook, thanks for five bucks. An ant walking on a spinning wheel yet moving backwards. That's how the sun slips backwards through the astrological signs. Nice. Agreed. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We got to get off here. I'm going to try and find some dinner. Uh, but, uh, and, and join the Patreon just in case they do decide to take down the internet in uh, April on April 8th when the eclipse happens. Uh, which will be purely designed to scare people. And then, of course, they'll reopen an internet that is just, you know, the government.com or whatever. Um, it's not something to be afraid of, but they want you to be. But if it'll that does happen. Government.com. It'll be Pornhub, Netflix, yeah. Hulu, yeah. In Disney the one. Plus. <laughs> yeah. In one hub. That, that'll it's be gov.gov. Brainchipped.gov. Yeah. Gov. <laughs> That's it. Go. That's what they'll do. And uh, they won't let us stream on there, or maybe they will. Uh, who also, knows, guys, but... we have to do a whole stream on this, too, coming up soon. Porn? Not the Ooh. boogeyman, guys. No, 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 Jimmy. I, I hear you. I Making the face <laughs> making the face of every man who's ever been in a relationship with a conservative and now has to be like, porn? No. But I'm, a, I'm against that stuff. That's not where it's from. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I don't think it's the boogeyman, but I think it's, it's a boogeyman. weapon that is used over in uh, the Middle East. Just ask Palestine. Just ask Palestine what happened to their TVs when they were too strong. It's I'm not I'm not afraid of it. It's not a boogeyman. It's just a yeah. weapon to make you weak. That's all. But it should be an episode. Yeah. It should be discussed. Yeah, we're no we're, we're gonna do a whole episode on that about yeah. sexual visibility. Nudity in yeah. public and, you know, Garden of Eden type conditions and what's what's actually indecent or intolerable or actually perverted and things like that. Mm -hmm. It matters because you've got a lot of these conservatives are anti holistic health. Well, they're also anti human body. They're also anti beauty, believe it or not. Yeah. And you walk a fine line, you know, do I like gangster rap? No. Do I think that it should be censored by the government? Hell no. So just because you're not a fan of, you know, hardcore pornography, you should not be in favor of censoring it, censoring it because that sets a terrible precedent. Then what's going to happen? They're not going to be able to have boobs in a movie. If I'm going to make a, you know, independent film, you know, the, you give an inch, yeah. they're going to take a mile. And when we're talking about whatever, you know, <laughs> just well, being a contrarian. At least have an age thing, uh, you know, proof of age thing, which I know people say, oh, that's an excuse to get digital ID and sign everyone up and make sure we're all tracked and traced. But, you know, Texas uh, saying, just show us your ID, basically, to, to be able to access this stuff. Oh, come on. And then Pornhub goes, okay, well, then no one gets it. And then pulls it from the whole state. That works perfectly, in my opinion. They Cut me a themselves. break. Governor Abbott's been fapping under under the ta under the desk every day of the week. <laughs> well, it still he's, works. He's putting that he's putting that upper body to to, to use. <laughs> That's probably why he's in a wheelchair. Yeah, he just wore Dude, himself out. You know that um, we're gonna wrap it up here. I promise, guys. Mm -hmm. But I heard that I was reading today. <laughs> That the you know in Florida all the Native Americans like uh, close to half the population was actually hermaphrodites. You guys know about this? <laughs> in between genders, the Tamukua, two spirits, and various tribes in in Florida. Yeah, it's not just the Pacific. I think a lot of people know about that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, thing, the two spirit, yeah, thing coming out of like the Pacific Islands and stuff. That was all the way up to Florida, and they were hermaphrodites who partook of both genders, kind of. And we're seeing that a lot today. Do you know how they say that they that they uh, did that? Without they wouldn't castrate them, they wouldn't, you know, do anything too invasive. They said that they did that by relentless. I swear to God, I, it's called like onanism. Onism oh. or something. Onanism. Do you know what that is? Huh? 
like buck breaking, just making a boy a girl. Well, they would essentially owner, they would relentlessly owning? masturbate. Uh, they would relentlessly masturbate all day, and then like edge uh, themselves till they blue balls themselves into into like hermaphroditism. See, that's there you go. They would blue ball themselves until they were <laughs> until they were no longer men. Wait, you said wait. They masturbated too much, or they edged too much and blue balled themselves. It was hard to tell. Like it said that <laughs> which one? It, it's the definition of this word called like onanism. Onanism. Onanism means masturbation, pretty much. But so specifically, like um, potentially not climaxing. But oh, getting you know, to it every point and then stopping. I think so. Like, well, yeah, I'm sure that that would that would uh, turn you into a lady boy for sure. <laughs> yeah, but it said that's how they that's how they produced them. Yeah. And uh, all right, Bye. guys. On that note, I gotta <laughs> hop off for real. We'll let Jimmy clean that mess up. All right, guys. Oh, great. Wow. Okay. Good night. Doctor's doctor's gotta go. Um, hands where hands where we can see him, Jimmy. <laughs> hands up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, immediately. Like that guy. It's all good. Like that guy on um the Zoom call, that CNN um newsreader yeah. who was had hands on a Zoom call. He had hands too low, was was going and was rubbing one out, and yeah. then just came back on CNN and said, I'm sorry, I was under a lot of pressure and stress and you know. Yeah, he's to, back. He's all good. Back. He went yeah. to uh training. Yeah. Inclusion, inclusion and abuse training, HR. From the right family. It's all good. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for Sign up us. to the Patreon because Florida News Network. Yep. I just Peace. as a way to to uh, network. It's been said in the chat lately. We have got to have a a way that we can have a little club to share info and have meetups. And if they take grids down, we all meet in an orange grove and keep surviving happily. So. Sign up so that we can link up. Good night, y'all. Night, night. Peace.